ってらっしゃい。Good afternoon, friends, fans, and fam. How the hell are we? It's been going down. Have we been having fun? Well, last night, just as we got back to the fort, one of those incidents happened where there was a lot of shooting and chaos, and, well, we're still here. But we're a little more fucked up than we were yesterday. So, that being said, it's, uh... Let's jump into it. Let's see what's going down in the world of TRP. Start with telegrams. Whiskey, no.
sending telegrams. I need to telegram Vegas. How's North doing? Okay, let's get down to Val.
Well, not. We'll go back. gone much better until there was a little incident before bedtime last night. Which one? The Shady These Bell one? These assholes. Is that why it's set to zero? Mm hmm They didn't like me leading my horse in, so they shot at all of us. Me, Caldwell, is, and Dumont. Is that why you look like El Nova? <laughs> yep. Yep, that'd be why. I was just on my way down to Valentine. Thought I'd risk it to see the nurse, but... Ah. Yeah. So yeah. And I just got a telegram, and I saw you coming in, so I thought I'd see what was going on. What the fuck happened to Shady Bell after all that? Uh, well, essentially, let's oh. a look to the... Telegram office so that you can kill two birds with one stone. Huh, um... I'm not entirely saying what, what really happened. I'm still sort of left in the dark of certain things, but for what I can gather, three rifles were stolen um, from the It was a negotiation, I believe. Yeah. In return for Vela, I think. They had some hostages uh, at the parlor house in Rhodes. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not so certain about the parlor house side of things. I was just there for the shady bell side. Uh, there were a lot of medical in the um, in, in the forest, just waiting to uh, hop in if things went south. I mean, it's shady bell. Shit usually goes south when shit goes down at shady bell. In my experience, haven't been there a few times now. Oh, thank you. Yep. Um. So essentially, um. The negotiations was was had. I don't know all the all the stuff that was said because we we arrived late, um, and we essentially Hades and I guarded the right flank just in case um, just in case they decided to all run. But they basically negotiated that two of them would surrender themselves and the rest were allowed to go. You know. Um. Some fellow named Lindsay Finch and another fellow named Jesse Sweet. Jesse Sweet is my well, Valentine's train robber. Ah, okay. Remember we had that conversation and you were asking whether it was a uh, a Jacob something or other? Yeah. No, it's Jesse Sweet. I see. I thought uh, I so I was at the parlor house when that went down. I was off duty, but I was covering the back door just in case. It was Stella's show. Mm -hmm. So they all jumped out the side window toward Braithwaite Forest, and nobody from Stella's side of things did anything, so I just let them all go. Because it's a sheriff, you know? It's it's her show. It's under sheriff. If she wants mm -hmm. to start a shootout after negotiations, I'm not going to be the one to pull the first trigger, you know? It's not my business, but... Anyway, yep. they all took off, and Jesse ran right by me. He was wearing a bandana, but I'd heard his voice in the in the house, in the parlor house. And as I was walking around the back, I heard him yelling at, uh, fuck, uh, Joe, Joe Bundy. And he was describing himself. He was like, can you see me now, motherfucker? Look at me, blonde, brown, brown eyes. Uh, whatever he said, like 5'10". I'm like, yeah. it sounds like Jesse. Describe him what Jesse looks like. And then Jesse ran by me outside. But I was like, oh, I can't see your whole face. But I'm like 85% certain you're Jesse Sleep. Yeah. Well, here's the, here's the other odd thing. Um, Jesse also called the other person when that gave up uh, Lee. So I guess it's like Lindsay Lee Finch. Wait. Lee? Yeah. What does Lee look like? Blonde hair, clean shaven. Kind um, of pretty boyish? I wasn't really paying attention to that part. I know, Hans, surprising. Honestly, like, he's not bad looking, but... 
like kind of ear length hair, not short like yours yes. and mine. Yes, ear length hair. Uh, he was a wearing bit predominantly of earthy face. colors. Yes. That's Kincaid's Lee. Is it? I mean, the rest records are in Rhodes right now if you want to look at them. I, I don't know if you're really in any condition to do uh, that, though. Better than I was when I was there yesterday, but I probably shouldn't ride all the way to Rhodes without a partner. Mm. I just came from there. <laughs> Lee, I need to see the photograph, but I got a good look at Kincaid's Lee at the Saint-Denis medical office when he was being mm -hmm. treated by Juju and Kid. I didn't know who he was at the time because they were claiming the feller in the chair inside was tuberculosis patient, so no one was to go in. But he was just standing right. there, leaning against the wall, keeping guard. And I know it's exactly the same fella that was with Kincaid when Kincaid stabbed me on the dock later with Reuben and Eli. So um, they've got a mugshot in Rhodes. Do. Uh, I guess the question is, who's still investigating that entire thing? Was it... Um... It's either Ruben or Nora. Mm. I, I don't think Nora is dealing with that, just given that she is... You she know, resigned yet? Well, I wasn't sure if she wanted it so she could, you know, close the chapter entirely, seeing as he's the one that got away from that Kincaid thing. Or if it was being given to Ruben to write all the warrants for it. And there was a, also a question mark about whether or not Drummond's Rhodes incident was going to be part of a Rhodes thing or whether we just wrap it up. I was telling Ruben to wrap it up, put it with ours, because the Drummond Rhodes yeah. thing started in Saint Denis with them sending me swimming at knife point. Sorry, at gun. Well, gun and knife, I guess. Lee had the gun, but, you know, Kincaid liked his right. knives. Although I will say. Jesse gave me a compliment last night, and I didn't really think about it until now. Uh, oh. I looked at myself in the mirror and said, you know what? He's right. He said I've looked like I'm about to serve ice cream. <laughs> yes. Yes, you are. Two scoops, please. Well, I know Jesse and Lee. I wonder if it's the same Lee. Maybe. Did we Three check other his, people... Did they check his ID? I mean, their rest records are, are in there, yeah. Yeah, okay. Like, full name and everything. And it is Lee? Well, no, it's Lindsay Finch. Finch, okay. I'll check the photo, whether it's Rubens Lee or not. That's the question. Who else was with him? No idea. Three people jumped out the back of Shady Bell and rode off, because that was a deal. And those two gave themselves up. I didn't really get a good look at the three that ran away. What happened to the others? I thought there were six of them. That's one, maybe, maybe only five, I guess. Hmm. So I talked to Abe a little while ago about the uh, Oakley and him giving Jet, not Jesse, uh, Everett Jackson. Mm -hmm. the sweet deal was Ram Ranch in 90 days. Mm -hmm. And he was explaining that that was kind of at gunpoint. They, uh, Everett and his associates were aiming guns at him and Oakley. Except for Everett himself wasn't, but his associates were. Uh, right. Including Caspian. Caspian Dune, the one that Drummond and I have been looking for. Mm -hmm. And a couple of others. And he said Jesse Sweet was hanging around in the background. And another fellow named Charlie that I stitched up last night in Rhodes. Charlie, Charlie. He's a nope, heavyset man talk. with a thick beard. Kind of a gruff voice. Does mm, not sound familiar to me at all. Could be a lumberjack, could be anything, could be a criminal. Mm. Didn't look like any of the fellas that escaped. Uh, I, well, you have to understand, there were 50 feet. Right, you weren't engaged for me in the house. Yeah, fair enough. No, Hades walked down that boulevard, asked them, do they need our help? They said, just sit, stand over to the right by the tree and <laughs> hmm. look like you're about to ambush them. Who was in charge? Uh, 
technically it was a Rhodes thing, so Carl. He was also there. Carl. Oh, poor Carl. Okay. I mean, I guess someone else took the took the lead in that regard, but yeah. I'm not sure who. Stellar okay? Because she was uh, there for the parlor house thing. Did something happen to her? She needed medical. I, I think she's more or less fine now, but I don't think she's going to be on active duty for at least one other day. Shit. Oh, poor thing. Okay. Jeez, what a... I just went down the roads for some food and to see Parker, and it all went to hell. Yeah, yeah. It's having a nice conversation with good old Lou McIntosh. Oh, how is he? He's almost off parole tomorrow. Oh. I gotta confirm with an AG, though. I think that's his 30 days, or at least close to. 16th of last month. Mm-hmm. But, uh... I, think for that. I, need to, I need to see what Donnie's parole's at. Well, I don't have to, but I'm nosy. One moment. Yeah, fair. Checking telegrams again. No, it's been 20 days. If Oakley wants me to meet her halfway, where the fuck's that gonna be? She's coming from Tumbleweed. Blackwater? Blackwater would be the most halfway point, yeah. What does she need to meet with you about? So... Ugh. That was dramatic. Howdy. Have you ever thought about walking in through a door clock? Nah. Okay. Good talk. <laughs> you look like you've been coal mining. Are you okay? I'm fine. Okay. Well, probably just forced that. Yeah. Uh, so I have been working for months now on collecting evidence about all this Sissica abuse. Mm -hmm. Dumont assigned it to me back well, initially, Justice Rose and Clementine had started doing a, some investigating, but then Justice Rose got kidnapped by the people that had given testimony, so she had to recuse herself entirely from it. So Dumont handed it to me, but we weren't opening a case specifically because of, well, it's Sissica, you know, like... I guess they just didn't want to rock the boat too much, seeing as we got to work hand in hand with them all the time on bringing prisoners. And but now Oakley, from what I can read in these files here, has uh, had a conversation with mills of all fucking people and just decided to go ahead and open a case. Someone must have told her I'd been working on this, and now she wants to meet, or at least now she wants to know what I've been doing with it. Asked if I had a case open, and I said specifically what I just said. No, we didn't open the case, but seems like she's opening one and going going at it. I know Crenshaw told me it wasn't ever going to work, so not to really bother, but I've still got at least all the anecdotal evidence and medical record permissions, so. Yep. Uh, I see. Oakley being uh, Oakley so far and just investigating something, I guess. Well, um, you'll probably see in the medical records that there's one for all of Jackson that you can use that she's already said that, yes, she'll waive her right to. Yeah, she um, told me herself, yeah. There's Cassius Crane, there's Donnie, there's... I look like she already got the whiz. God, there's so many. Honestly, so, so many. Not to mention the time that I was out there with, uh, I think it was Hanlon and Drummond and Clem. And right in front of us, a fella tried to run. Tried to run for the boat down to the dock. And they shot him. And then when he was on the ground, they just kept shooting him. Like, 
three or four more times. And that's when you were transporting who over there? Fuck, I can't even remember who we transported. We were leaving at the time. There's both times Donnie's been in there for long stretches. Might have even been a... God, who did we take? God, I can't even remember why we were there. Whether we were doing a visit or whether we were uh, taking people out there to see someone. Like a medical visit or what, but we were on our way out. We were leaving the island. This fella tried to escape and three guards just kept shooting them with rifles. Almost shot me in the process. Well. Like I said, it's I've been doing this case for a long time now, working to try and get a case file opened, but nobody wanted to open one. So now that Oakley has, I'm just going to tell her what I've got and see if she wants me to continue working it or not. <coughs> yeah, that's fair. I do need to speak with her myself, but I feel like this takes a little more precedent than my thing so well i mean you're not supposed to travel alone if you want to come with me well that's the other thing if there's some things i need to deal with deal with up here i said i was going to meet her later in the evening okay. however a volunteer just walked into the door didn't he howdy clark howdy fancy a ride to blackwater i just came from blackwater but sure <laughs> <laughs> all right i'll tell oakley i'll meet her there Hello, Voluntold. <laughs> Who are the rude non reply to my telegram? Which telegram? I already know the answer to the telegram now because I had wrong context, but uh, he still didn't reply, so I'm hurt. Which one? But howdy, are you aware of a federal policy that went hunting after the associates yeah, 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 yeah. apparently? Uh I'll tell you right You're now not... I'm unaware of that one. Because it doesn't exist because it was not him. <laughs> I what? I, I'm confused. What? I, w I was told that in the first place I was told that apparently a posse marshal had howdy. gone down there looking for uh Wii. And associate with Kincaids. Oh, and Tumbleweed? Yes. I was under the impression that that was one of the days when someone had been taken, you know, active situation, etc., etc. Anyway, I've since been told it How was not that. Trouble? It was two marshals who went down there looking for Everett Jackson. Was this when Oakley and Maid found him? Um. What, you just no popped out as question Olive? Mark? Or is I believe Parker? this was because he escaped that day, or he got away. Oakley and they were apparently in town, but they were busy talking with Kuyo and Riker, I believe. Okay. This was the day that uh, Jackson shot Stella. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I didn't answer this telegram for two reasons. One, uh, I was at a dinner party with Kuyo and Donny. Funnily enough. Uh, Sorry, what? Fancy. Uh, oh, you know that, that event at Rhodes? Oh, last night. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's Freddy and... Sorry. No, wrong distracting topic. And afterwards, I went immediately to bed. Then when I got back up to check my telegrams. I'm going to come uh, check on Parker as soon as I finish talking to, to Rhodes. Shitty belting happened. Now here we are. Oh, also, I had a question for you because I... I mean, it's honestly a general question that just came up because of the whole New Hanover thing mm. and what I found in Tumbleweed. If another, if in two months there's another election and someone has a ballot from this election for the same person, will it still cast a vote? That's never happened before. Um, I don't know. Mm. Fascinating. 
people really shouldn't be hanging onto those ballots. I know they seem like good souvenirs, but um, hmm. the, the glue that they use to put the ribbon on there can get a little finicky with people's bags after an election start, let's just say. Yeah, oh. but like, That's well, my main point is that if someone were to keep them somewhere else, maybe, hmm. and then pull them out next election, that means that election fraud can persist past an election. Uh, I'll be honest, I'm entirely uncertain in that regard. Okay. Ty's gonna head to Rhodes That's after Blackwater to talk to, to Vegas to about where we can, yeah, where we can find her somewhere safe that yeah, isn't yeah. Okay. fucking Donnie's house. Okay. Do you want to go to uh, Blackwater then? I came here yeah. to talk to you anyway. <laughs> oh, good. By the way, you were talking about Lee, Kincaid's Lee. Possibly uh, may I... have been arrested in Rhodes last night for the Shady Bell thing. So after Blackwater, we can go to Rhodes and check the mugshot. Lee's a very common name. It might not be. Who knows? No, but the fact they were all around, I don't know. We'll see. I haven't seen many Lees lately. Oh, don't look at the mugshot? Yep, yeah, there. Anyway, let's check after Blackwater. <laughs> well, you two travel safe. Oh, I'm... oh, also, you might want to tell uh, your ASM this, but uh, A, Ruben Haas is out, and B, he actively said, I'm going to get uh, what Armstrong owes for me, or something to that effect. Maybe he just that... means his belongings? Uh, it's a bit more threatening than that. Yeah, I know. I was just trying to put a positive spin on something. Why does that man have such a fixation on Armstrong? Eh. Gotta hate on somebody. Do you? I feel I like know. holding hate is just... I feel like that's what the criminals tiring. do. They find a marshal they don't like and hold hate. It's like me and Wills. Yeah. I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> and me and a whole bunch of other people. To be fair, right. the me list is apparently quite long. Uh, see, I, I just don't understand it. Hating people is exhausting and... Oh, I don't hate them. Else. They just don't like me. I can't understand why. It's just because I arrest them or some shit, I guess. I don't wear nice socks, apparently. Maybe that's why they like you more. Well, that's the thing. I don't... I put out the wards, not generally the one usually there to arrest them. Donnie was a was a case of, you know, pew 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 pew. Oh, that wasn't oh. even <laughs> Oh, oh, that's awkward. Oh, it's well. okay. You're a nice no cream salesman. It's fine. Place. Don't need a loaded gun to sell ice cream. I don't even know why it wasn't loaded. Oh, wait, now I know. No, no. I was swapping ammunition. Mmm. All right. Well, uh, I better get to Blackwater before Oakley gets bored and leaves. Take care, Hans. Thanks for the travel safe. Thanks for the medical help. Take uncare, Hans. Wow, that's cool. Wow. Okay, I'm using the little marshal's room. Why? Why the hate for Hans? Someone's got to. <laughs> The criminals won't do it. I will. <laughs> well, today has just started. Nobody's trying um, to shoot me I yet. just wanted to... Uh... Oh, you didn't lock the door. Yeah, I just want to ask you who... If you knew who all has been, like, held up or... Not, like, actually held up, but, you know, stopped then asked about you. Ergo, I'm just trying to track down anyone who's come across the uh, Wiz and the two others. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, Ruben was the first that I know of. Mm -hmm. Or the main one I know of. The See, the gang that held up... Uh... Oh! Oh, no! Okay, there's another mission for Ty. Go find her horse. Uh, the gang that 
held me and Ruben up in Rhodes that was with Wiz. Later went to take Ezra and Stella out of Blackwater, but without Wiz, just them, Ace of Spades or some shit. Mm -hmm. And that didn't include Lady and Jim, or the people we assume are Lady and Jim. Um, yeah, okay. So those that have been accosted by Wiz, while with two others, is basically just Ruben. And, uh, fuck, I don't even know. Okay, because we saw a question. Do you know, if I were to say Cayuga hat, you know what that is? A what? Cayuga hat. It's nope. like a kind of off kilter brim. It's really tall on the like crown. Okay. It's kind of like dusty. Um, does Wiz wear one of those? Not from my recollection. So, so okay. When I say we, so, the brim is flat but it kind of looks like it could be angled and then the top of the hat is just like pretty tall it's a big hat but it's like also dirty usually hmm can you go put one on i could yeah because i can't picture it maybe when we get to blackwater while i'm talking to oakley you go put one on Anyway, yeah, tan one of those with the full white face bandana. Yes, the white face bandana definitely. Patterned. Yep, black patterning, like. Yeah. Um. Trying to think, what else? But yeah, okay. As we met them last night. Just Wiz and Lady, though. Where? Yeah, just Wiz and Lady, though, right? <clears throat> yes, exactly. You heard. Howdy, Ty. Howdy. This is part where we full gallop away. How you doing? I've been better, my friend. I've been a lot better. Yeah. Yeah. You? Pretty good, actually. Other than Under the news from the other night. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get used to that one. Mm-hmm. Look at that fancy star. It looks very nice, doesn't it? I like it on this outfit. What? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, ten. It's real. It's, it's there. Real. Shit, miracles can it's... happen. Who knew? Yeah, exactly right. Hey, uh, quick question. I gotta go meet Oakley, but uh, are you uh still good with me using your medical stuff from Siska's evidence? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, thought so. All right, I'll come see you soon, but. And I'll All be right, down yeah. in Rhodes, uh, checking in on Parker. Yeah, I'll probably be down there as well. I'll let you know. Just let me know if anything happens with yeah. that. Yeah, of course. Stay safe. Yeah, you too, man. But yeah, um, out near Armadillo. Or in Armadillo, rather. Oh, fun. Uh, lady was riding a, uh, I think it's a Dark Bay Turkum. Huh, okay, like this? Is, this is a Dark Bay Turkoman. Not a Dark Bay Turkoman. Is there a Dapple Black Turkoman? There is a Black Turkoman. Uh, it looked kind of dappled. Hmm. You know what, maybe... Thoroughbred? Maybe I'm... It wasn't a Thoroughbred, I'm almost certain it was a Turkoman. 
I just remember it was like a real. Maybe it was just a black Turkoman. There is a black, you know and there's this. I mean, maybe one of these that was dirty? Or like, if she'd been riding hard, could be sweaty? Mmm. Seemed like, uh, real dark. And it looked like. I would have said reverse staple black, but wait, I don't think that's a Turkoman. I don't think that's so. a no. Nakota, I think. Nakota or something, but yeah. Um. Anyway, hmm. I was like, I'm I'm gonna stick with the black Turkoman. I'm gonna. I'll go. I'll see if I can't uh, get someone who has a black Turkoman. It was it was definitely black. It just had some dappling on it, which might just be what a the black coat on the Turkmen does take over that wing either it was kind of mm -hmm. like wait which path do you take I, just I always take this one in front of us up the hill oh yeah I'm, I'm trying to I don't know I'm trying to uh let you lead fair but then I think we're trying to lead each other yeah um well I mean you can always check armadillo has the Turkmen's in the stable always check down there for him. Hmm. Yeah, I'll uh, take a look next time. But, um, yeah, it was that I'm sure of. It was definitely Terracoman. Mm-hmm. Build-wise. Um, then, yeah, uh, it's definitely Lady uh, Remington and Drummond were with me, and they were, Remington was like, yeah, that was definitely Lady. Was wearing like uh, goggles. Okay. Kind of like, uh, have you ever seen a balloonist? Like one of those uh, operators of uh, hot air balloons. Oh, okay. Kind of, yeah. kind of look like those kind of like kind of metalworky type goggles. Huh. All right. Yeah, yeah. I get you. And then uh, black hair braided down the back. Oh, longer hair now. Okay. She used to have hair kind of in a bob around her ears. Mm-hmm. Last I saw her in Blackwater, that's how she was. I mean, if yeah, she weren't wearing uh, a mask, Skyfield. then you know her. Yeah, no uh, mask up. But Wiz was full mask up? Yeah, full mask up. He had a long arm on his back. Uh... That large hat. Mm hmm. We can just cut straight down the river. Then I want to say he was. No, actually, the one. Oh. Uh, yes. I was going to try and, like, remember his. Um, what horse he was riding, but my mind is either going. He was either riding another dark horse or, like, a green horse. Okay. Like, those are two very different things, and I feel like my mind's just playing tricks on me. So I'm just going to say he was definitely on a horse. Okay. He was on a horse. But honestly, the white bandana thing is already... Uh, someone else also was like, yeah, that sounds like Wiz. It's pretty common for him. That's how I first met him, was wearing that white bandana. Probably got a mug shot with it on somewhere too.
guess where I, I just got reassigned. Where? Coulter. <laughs> Fucking Anson said you're reassigned to Coulter until this whiz shit blows over. Ma'am? How do you do, Deputy? How do you do, Chief Deputy? Where's your badge? Off duty, ma'am. Uh, well, uh, if we're talking about cases, you're on duty. All right, if you'd like me to wear it, sure. I'm, uh, happy to. I've just been... Avoiding being too obvious about who I am and what I've been doing. Okay, why is that? Wesley Wiz Gunther is still gunning for me. Are you? Yes, ma'am. Why? He wants to know who shot him in the back, he wants to know who killed his cousin Bertha, and he wants to know what happened to Mitch. And he blames the marshals for Mitch. What do you have to do with anything else? Uh, I was the first marshal he uh, ever had an issue with, and it's just kind of stuck, ma'am. Did you shoot him in the back? Did not, though I did, uh, I was the lead posse, I was in charge of the posse when his cousin got killed. I see. Okay. Who did the shooting? <sighs> civilian, ma'am. Okay. Apparently. Or either a civilian or it was, uh, Goldfinch, Marshal Goldie, who's no longer in state. Um, someone in your posse or no? Uh, of Bertha? Yes. No, uh, the one that shot Bertha was, uh, Deputy Marshal Hanlon. Rest his soul. But Wiz doesn't believe it. Wiz is... Wiz just is one of these folk that likes to blame law for every bad thing that's ever happened to him and doesn't like accepting responsibility for his own choices. He's got a real thing about being shot in the back. Though the issue being that mainly he was shot in the back because he kept running away. Uh, yeah, that hat looks was familiar. He, was he armed while he was running away? Usually. Well, the time he got shot? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All the times he's been shot, he's been armed. Uh -huh. He's never been shot without Because the way he tells it, he was already injured when he was shot in the back. He was... Ma'am, he was shooting at people. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, alright. If so, you want a uh, true count of events of what happened, uh, Jasper is probably your go-to. Okay. She was with him. She understands what really happened, but Liz is one of these folk that refuses to accept the uh, consequences of his actions. Uh-huh. It was all other people's choices that led to him making these crimes and criminal issues. Right, right, right. His first one was trying to rob me. Long time ago now, but it kind of stuck with him, I guess, that I was his, uh, his marshal of choice when it comes to being upset with the marshals. Oh, I see. But anyway, I'm here to talk Sissica. Should we go somewhere and sit and talk, or... AG's office, yeah, maybe? Or... We'll sit in the saloon. I feel like we should talk privately. I mean, there's no one in there. It's pretty private. Okay, sure. So what got you finally interested in this case? Uh, well, people finally started uh, reporting issues to me. Oh. This has been an ongoing investigation for a really long time. Why has nothing been done? Because no one had any appetite for it except myself, Clementine June, and Justice Rose. But Justice is a judge. She can't lead an investigation. And uh, mm -hmm. then she got taken hostage by the people who were reporting it. The whole thing with her and Clementine being captives of Ford Riker, Donnie, 
and all of them, most of that gang were our first kind of first kind of leads into evidence of male content and well uh-huh. wrongdoings in Sisica, but basically their entire testimonies had to be discarded after that because of the I conflict of interest. With that. But well, that wasn't my call. But then Dumont kind of assigned me as investigator on the case, but there was no appetite for opening an actual case file, just just collecting what I could anecdotally and waiting for the day someone like you, higher up the food chain, I guess, had appetite for it. So I'm glad you've um, done it. What uh, What evidence have you gathered so far? Well, man, we have a bunch of medical records we've been given permission to use from a lot of prisoners. Uh, some of which you've already obviously managed to gather. Ford Riker, uh, Wiz himself. There's a few others, even most recently Olive Jackson. Uh, Mills, you've got there. Donnie Dollars. Both times Donnie's been in. Various levels of abuse. Uh, probably Kuyo herself. Alvin Tabernacle is one, but he's uh, not been around in a long time. Uh, God, who else? Cassius Crane, for sure. Uh, Fuck, I put him in there myself, and he came out missing an eye because one of the guards put a revolver to his face and shot his eye out for talking back. There's there's no shortage, ma'am. None at all. Uh, I've got Olive, Jackson, Donnie Dollars, Cuyo, Tabernacle, Riker, Cassius, Cassius, Crane, Wiz. Who am I missing on that list? Uh, I'm going to have to confirm my notes with Clem, but they've been a lot, man. Um, oh, eh. And there's also the time that I was... Oh, God, I can't even remember why we went over, but Clem was going to write a report, incident report. So was Drummond, actually. We witnessed three guards shoot an escaping prisoner and then continue to shoot said escaping prisoner while he was dying on the ground. He was already down, ma'am, and they... He fired at least three or four more times into him, almost shooting me in the process. Okay, and do you have any uh, signed witness statements? Uh, Justice Rose had some signed witness statements, ma'am, but as I said, I think most of those were discarded because of the issue with her being taken hostage. And without being able to get an official case open, at best we had the medical records permission and the anecdotal stuff because no one wanted us to open the case. Cassie's crane is now under Sheriff Valentine, correct? Yes, ma'am. Like I said, I've been trying to work this for a long time, ma'am. I've been just waiting for the go-ahead. Everett Jackson or just all of Jackson? Only all of I'm aware of. Apparently they beat her because she was too proud of how she looked. They wanted okay. to make her less pretty. Called her things like scumbelina and stuff. All right. So I've got uh, signed statements from Mills, Wiz, and Riker. Uh, Donnie and Cuyo, I don't believe, are willing to give statements. Tabernacle is dead, right? 
hadn't heard he died, ma'am, but I, I know uh -oh. he's not in state yeah. anymore, at least. I'm pretty sure he's not with us. I'll double check with Riker I mean, he's... on that. Okay. No one mentioned he died that I heard, but maybe. He wasn't doing well. Especially not after his last stint there. In terms of medical folk that can provide testimony, Drummond, Juju, Vegas. I'm sure they'll all testify to the mistreatment they've witnessed as medical personnel. But what's our end goal here, ma'am? What can we do? What's our... What's the goal of this investigation? We know it's happening, but... Are we going after the warden? The guards? Hey, uh, hey! I'm not quite positive. I need to speak with the AG about it. We're either filing a civil suit or criminal charges, one or the other. <laughs> uh, cruel and unusual punishment is against the const or, you know, against constitutional rights. So yeah, uh, I would think that criminal charges are warranted. Um, whether or not they are charged against individual guards, uh, the warden responsible, or the institution of Sisica itself, I'm not quite sure in the data gathering phase right now. Okay. So, uh, what we need to do, um, let's see. I'll have you gather statements from the medical staff, Drum and mm -hmm. Juju in Vegas. Yes, ma'am. Clementine as well, probably. She treated D Donnie over there and others, I believe. Yeah, that would be good. Um, so what I'd like you to do, if you look in the case file on Chief's desk, of course, uh, that format there, the name of the person whose statement you're taking, um, if they're a Sisica prisoner, the amount of time they spent there, roughly the time. Obviously, we can cross-reference our records to see, but... Old to have what did there. he go to Sisica for? Um, and then write down notes as you interview them. Read those notes back to them to confirm that you got everything down accurately and then have mm -hmm. them sign. Understood, ma'am. Are you comfortable, if they don't have time to talk to me directly, are you comfortable with them just providing a written statement? Their own written no, statement? No, I'd like them to, to find be... time. Okay. Yeah. Understood. doesn't have to be, uh, you know, it can be broad strokes. It doesn't have to be minute details. It doesn't need to take more than a few minutes. Oh, I, I understand. I'm just checking. Uh, so I'll have you, so Drummond, Juju Vegas, and Clementine, I suppose, um, on just medical treatment they've they've given. Mm-hmm. And then what's your relationship with Crane? Friendly. Like, would he, okay, can you also uh, get a statement from Crane? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. We'll get these uh, signed statements gathered and the medical records that we can get approval on gathered and then uh, go from there. Do you want me to, uh, now that they've turned over their new leaf, do you want me to try again with Donnie and Kuyo? Or at least get Clem to try? Uh, I might have Abe check in with them. He's got a pretty good relationship with them. All right, sure. I think last, I mean, yeah, last I knew they uh, felt that their medical records spoke for themselves, which isn't untrue. Okay. Their statements are not make or break on this. I've got, I think, enough. With, oh. I, I'm pretty confident Crane will talk to you. Mm. Oh, he will. He will. I just met him in Valentine and, and double-checked that he was comfortable with that before I was meeting with you so I could make sure he was on the list. Yeah. There were three that were not comfortable, but we know they were abused. Uh, it was Mickey, Kiernan, and also I believe she's still there, a woman by the name of Pearl. Uh, God, I can't remember their... their Mickey and Kiernan, the brothers, the Kelly, Kelly brothers. Mm-hmm. 
They both went to Cisco. And, uh, well, as with everybody, the treatment was bad, but they weren't comfortable talking directly without some guarantees of anonymity in their statements. Especially while Pearl was still there on a life sentence. They were worried that retribution would be taken out on her. Uh, if they were uncomfortable in the first place, let's go to them as a last resort. Uh, see if we can just get statements from who we've got. Yes, ma'am. Willing to talk. Understood. I'll also get statements from Drummond and Clem on the uh, witness and the guard get guards shooting that fella multiple times. Yeah, I'll probably have the Attorney General depose the two of you on that directly. Okay, sure. We made note of the guards' names at the time, but we never gathered the statements from each other, but we can. Or the AG can, Jetta. I'm just glad you're fine. How do you spell your name? My name, ma'am, Sackett. S-A-C-K-E-T-T. That's what I thought. saw it on the desk. I've been staying at the fort the last few nights, and I saw it on the desk, and I was... I'm not gonna lie. I was a little bit miffed at first that, that it uh, started and no one had looped me in, but I'm just glad it's underway. It's been too long, and I've made too many promises to people that I was investigating this. Oh, Lou McIntosh. He's the other one, ma'am. He's my parolee for the next couple of days, and uh, oh, okay. I might be able to get him to provide some kind of statement once his parole's finished and he's feeling a little more relaxed that he's not destined to head back there anytime soon. If you'll let me investigate that one on my own. How do you spell Macintosh? M-A-C-I-N-T-O-S-H. Yeah, see if you can get a statement from him. I mean, I'm looking to move on this pretty quickly, so. Uh, I'm glad, man. Probably by this it's time next week. Coming. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for opening it and for having the appetite to do something about it. Well, I appreciate that you've been investigating it to this point. I think uh, if we can, yeah, divide and conquer on what's left to do, we should be able to move quite quickly on this. Absolutely. Okay. All right, so your assignment then, Drummond, Juju, Vegas, Clementine, Crane, McIntosh. Yes, ma'am. Um, you think Juju will talk to you? Uh, we found some common ground last night, so maybe. Oh, okay, great. Uh, if Marshall, not, she let dislikes me know. likes more than me, you know? It's hard okay. to find. Oh. Wow, well, who's that? <laughs> Mercer, ma'am. Oh, yeah, well. Oh? <laughs> He, uh, yeah. Yeah. He made some mistakes. Oh, yeah? Okay. I've only really witnessed him being a sexist chauvinist and all direct mistakes, but... Well, I don't even recall... I'm trying to remember if I've even met him. Probably. Directly. Maybe not, ma'am. He's, uh... He's young. He's only in his 20s, but he looks like he's in his 40s. And, uh, he's got gray hair, southern accent, rides a, rides a horse similar to Bill. Oh, I think I did meet him, maybe. I'm not sure. Eh, it happens. 
Apparently he uh, overstepped and tried to fire her from the medical association the other day. Mm -hmm. So, you know, not her favorite person, let alone favorite marshal. Right, right, right. And I think for this particular case, she'd talk. Yeah, I think she would be happy to, to talk on it. Um, I think because of the lack of movement on this, we've lost some faith from uh, folks who know that it's been under investigation, so. We sure have, ma'am. We really have, and the fact we keep sending people there, knowing, and they know that we know how bad these conditions are, and yet right. we keep sending people because we don't have a legal choice. I mean, there's no reason that we can't be holding people in Fort Cell, but... Uh... I was I told mean, yeah. we couldn't beyond 45 days. I mean, that's what the SOP said. And that's, what, that's what I was mm -hmm. told. Well, that... You can always ask for approval. Okay. Good to know. I got warrants coming soon for Riker. Yeah, for, uh, uh, on the Casper? No, what's the uh, what's the this time? It's the Doyle's shootout, ma'am. Him and a posse walked into Doyle's, and a bunch of folk got shot up. Uh huh. Um, Decker Stone and Ruby from the Brittle Gang were with them, and they've already served uh -huh. time for it. Uh. Because they, as part of one of their warrants, they were willing to confess to everything else they'd done at the time that we knew about. Mm -hmm. So they could just get it all done and have a clean record and move on with their lives. Um, but I've all just right. been stalled a little bit because I haven't been able to speak to Ford himself to get his side of the story. But it's looking like I'm going to be getting a warrant for him and for Jamie. I don't know if you know him. He's kind of... Juju's male counterpart. Uh, brother. Brother, mm -hmm. yeah. So, uh, yeah, they're uh, looking at doing what would technically be a Sissica stint, probably 60 days if I get approval for the warrant. Mm -hmm. But uh, are you happy for them to do it at Mercer? Or Wallace, rather? I mean, it's your call at this point. Uh, For Riker's days, it's okay by me, but yeah, Riker's head is healed at this point, so I don't think there's any risk to his life by going to Cisco. No, I just mean to. I mean, if we're adding his statement to our case and then we're still sending him to Cisco. Yeah, it's a contradiction. I mean, so your option is this: wait to put the warrant out until after this case goes through. Or live with that hypocrisy. <laughs> I don't know. Is that an option, ma'am? To just yeah, wait? Yeah, you can wait. You're comfortable yeah. with me doing that? Absolutely. Okay. I'll make a note on my case file then. Yeah, I'm more than happy to have it. If, if you want to do that, that's fine by me. Um, like I said, my goal is as quick as we can get this put together. I mean... I'm going to go to the AG about this. Uh, I've already talked to him about this, uh, but I'm going to let him know the data that we've gathered so far mm -hmm. and uh, find out what our next steps are. I'm thinking probably we'll request a trial here, uh, if not today, then tomorrow. That quick, ma'am. Yeah, I mean, we've got the data. There's no question about it. Okay, we don't... Oh, you mean just make a request for a trial, not start mm -hmm. the trial today or tomorrow but just right no it'll file take for about a week. okay yeah yeah, yeah. No, sorry probably take about a for a week. second yeah. i thought we were going to go to court tomorrow with all this i'm like i need a day no, 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 no. too at least to gather statements but yeah yeah no <coughs> yeah i got lucky on mine because i just kept running into the people that i needed to talk to that's fair oh well i mean I think even with just these three uh, in conjunction with their medical records, it's a pretty solid case, but we might as well just take in as, in as thick we a file as we can. Right? Yeah, yes, absolutely. Yes, ma'am. Understood. All right. I will work on rounding all this up. Um, if you're going back east, sorry, west, uh, 
Most likely. Maybe try and talk to Drummond. I had a telegram from him today saying he's not wanting to go any further east than uh, Fort Mercer today. Uh-huh. Okay. It's been a lot. I'll be honest. It's been a lot going on out east lately, so I understand what yeah. he means. Yeah, I mean, I don't think there's any need for you guys to come out west. Uh, Drummond... No, he's I mean, he's already I out west. I just, if you were oh. wanting to talk to him directly, he's uh, out your way if you're going back that way. Okay, if I run into him, yeah, yeah. If I run into Juju, I'll probably just take a statement from her, too. I'm going to see about gathering the medical records, That's a good though. idea, yeah. Uh, I'm actually meeting with the chief medical officer, Vegas, today, so I can, I can ask oh, her yeah. for the records. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's great. If not, I can just do it by, by telegram or mail. Yeah. No, I gotta go meet with her to find a safe place for a friend in a coma. Who's that? Parker Oakley, ma'am. Clementine's partner. Really? Yeah. What happened? She, uh, tried to help a friend and there was a gunfight and she got shot in the head. She's Clementine's partner? Should be fiancé, but neither of them got around to popping the question. I didn't know that. Yes, ma'am. Well, that's uh, unfortunate. What's her prognosis, do you know? I don't know yet. I'll find out when I get to Rhodes, I guess. So far, no change, last I heard. Okay. It's been a couple All of right. days and no change, so we'll see. I think Clem's taking a couple of days off to look after her as best she can, but... Of course. Hey, yeah. quick question. Since I think you might have been, it might have been your case, but uh, Carrion Crane, Carrion uh, Rat. Yes, ma'am. Was he killed at Sissica or not? I'm getting very yes, conflicting information. Murder was in Sissica itself, in front of marshals and guards by another by prisoner. another inmate. Oh, okay, I don't know if that's going to fall into our umbrella on this uh, uh, lawsuit. Well, this is. Suspicion, ma'am. The reason for there being a, a case is cause, cause there's a suspicion that uh, found a gold nugget the other day. It was a hit, right after, like a paid-for hit. Right, right. Um, Ms. Eduardo. Yes, ma'am. What's the evidence on that? Uh, you'd have to confirm with Crenshaw or Clementine. It's their case now, but, uh... Mm -hmm. The suspect that did the murder had several items on him that linked to Eduardo and the Bastille itself. Which is Eduardo's kind of home turf. Hey, One Hand! How you doing? Play it ain't the first time, right? And uh, it was known at the time by Eduardo that Rat had ratted on him, and that was kind of why he was in Sissica. I see. I see. Okay. So there is grounds. There's certainly grounds for him to want revenge. Well, isn't there just a, a grand jury hearing? Eduardo today? Shit, was that this morning? What? I don't know the oh, outcome. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm probably going to trial. But is that that's, is that's for a different case, right? I mean, that's, I guess, his this reason one? for being in Sisker in the first place, maybe? Oh, I don't know. It won't be for the uh, the murder of Rat, but surely that... I see. I see. Surely that would... Uh, Letting him out only to lock him back up again for the murder of Rat seems egregious. When we could just keep him there. Yeah, I guess it just depends. I don't know what's holding up their warrant on uh, the Rat murder. I imagine if they get that warrant issued while he's still in prison, yeah, we can go ahead and charge him and just stack it on. Mm. Well... Be honest, ma'am, I think Clem's been dealing with a lot, and, uh, Crenshaw... Crenshaw gave her this case to kind of run with, but I don't think she's had much time to gather the evidence for it. 
<laughs> but uh, if I see Crenshaw, I can ask him about it. Seeing as she's on a couple of days off. But uh, I'll uh, I'll let you get back to the to the west, and I'll head east and go see the medical chief medical officer. All right. I uh, appreciate you. your time. No, thank oh, you yeah. for starting all this. Just doing my job. No need Master. to thank me. Oh, well, yeah. I'm just glad someone's got appetite for it. Well, them temperance women are back hounding us again. Yeah, yeah, I heard. Be right back, chat. I gotta let the doggy in. Hi there, sir. <laughs> like treating you well? Fits and starts, but okay, I guess. So my pa's gone off wandering again. Shit. Play it. Well, howdy. Are you well? I'm in a miserable way. Big loss of the river folk. I had to leave my damn pocket watch. Ain't that the Hello. way? Hello. You, you won't believe this. I found a gold nugget the other day, and then lost it right after. No fool. Oh my gosh. I'm back. Doggy is inside. Fucking Anson assigning me to... <sighs> assigning me to fucking Coulter. No! It's too cold! don't like it. I don't wanna go. Ow, ow, ow. It's safe, man. Take care. You blend right in. I mean, that's part of the job, isn't it? Okay. Well, I'm going back east. How about you? Uh, you know, I had to be by yourself, remember? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. So, yeah, we're going back east. Slaley's Fishing Co. Good old brittle boy.
Okay. <laughs> you and your outlaw friends. God damn it, I can get shot for being crunchal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe. Where is Crenshaw? I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, no, wait, I saw him last night. I just didn't talk to him because there was a shootout. <laughs> There's always a shootout. Is that one of the road shoot? Yep. The road shootouts. Yep. That's the one. Speaking of, headed there next. Probably should have taken the coast road, but oh well. We'll find oh well, a way. Better chance of being robbed. This way. I'm not worried about being robbed. To be fair, I don't mind being robbed. The abduction and then being executed. Yep. Yep. That sounds bad. That that. Sounds like a bad idea. Don't worry, I will make sure to, you know, at least one of my first six shots will hit someone. It might be you. I was gonna say, can someone. we confirm it's not gonna be me? <laughs> you know what? They might be so, like, stunned if I just whip around and, like, kneecap you that we can get away. Oh, thanks. Shoot the hostage? Is that what you're gonna do? Oh fuck. Okay, thank god. I thought that wagon driver might just be letting his horses lead and coming straight at the bridge while we were on the bridge. That'd be interesting. Right? Wouldn't it just? Oh good, so then this guy in front of us is going to look back and see a guy with a bandana and another guy dressed all in black pretty much. Uh huh? He's shitting himself right now. Whoever he is. It's like, you can't rob me, I'm the robber! Think he's going to speed up? She? Yeah, they're riding faster. Oh, well, this is awkward. Now we're going the same way. You know what? I get the feeling we really should just rob this person. Just rob them? Yeah. Okay. Who is it? I think that's Bundy. Howdy. Hi there. It is Bundy! You were right! You guys were riding real hard on me for a little bit there. Well, we were trying to judge how nervous you were getting. I, I did not make my horse any faster. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Did last night resolve itself peacefully or was there another Shady Bell shootout? No, we we're all good. Shady Bell shootouts. Everything came to a pretty peaceful resolution. That's what I. That's what I like to hear. He's coming from Redford. Yeah. You guys follow me all the way from Redford? No, no from Riggs. Hmm. Yeah, I had to deal with something out in, in this. Beautiful state of New Austin, rode around for a bit. Now Clover's feeling a little 
under the weather down there, so I got to talk to Anson about something. He's so awake. Head back down. I know the telegramming. Telling me I'm reassigned to Coulter. Well, Irina's going to be that. so happy. Yeah, bring a lot of warm clothes. Layers. A lot of layers. It, I know. I've been up there and stayed with them enough to know. That reminds me. I need to talk to you about something in a little... But, uh... Also, did you end up getting a charge from Stella? Bundy? Well... Yes. Oh shit, really? Yeah, I got battery. Wait, how? I don't know. That doesn't even make sense. I don't know. What Sloan and Stella said. What about Irina? She got aggravated assault. But how did you get battery? Was it just for tying them up? Yeah. Okay. So they didn't hit you with harboring for ordering the shooting? No. She paid a fine. Jesus. I think I got two days that they wanted me to serve some sort of something for, but... I was in town for a while. Time so, served, huh? Yeah, Zeke was like, you've done it. Some people were. I'm gonna cry about it. Well, fair. We all make mistakes. Sometimes you gotta eat them. like three different shootouts here last night and then they had a hostage situation howdy howdy howdy, howdy. hey join is join it, the sad is it too warm here is that what's going on Jamie, no it. we're being tactic. we're just embracing the clay of the morning oh clark do it clark do it go on clark clark do it did clark tell you i saved him from the moose man the other night howdy hello That Lola? Yep. Could be a client. She told me earlier not to trust her. Right. 
I will pay. How much is it? I will pay you to do it. Don't play with me. Lola does this for free. I let her do this to me. Ooh. Ooh, they're gonna get together. married. Going to the chapel and the Howdy. Oh, sorry. Then you go. <laughs> Hello, Tyrell. How do you go? Are you gonna... There you go. You finally said something. Howdy. I was just trying to work out what the fuck was going on. I'm kidnapping. I was, uh, yeah. You do that a lot, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna be kidnapped. No, no. You a train. Ooh. Where the fuck did that train go from? Holy shit, I didn't even That's hear it. That's definitely a train. It is train. I didn't even hear it pull up. Until just now. Just, God. Don't ask questions, Vegas. Alright, well. Yeah. Alright, let's right, go. He's just sneaking up on us. Oh, uh, sneaky train. Sneaky, sneaky train. Come on, Donut. Howdy. Uh, don't, donut. What are you, donut, what are you doing? Oh, oh, thank. Okay, I'm happy to see you too. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. To, all right. Donut, you, you are something else, pal. There you go, boy, Donut. That's a good boy. So Donut's having a good day, huh? A donut's being a, a a donut. He's being goofy. He's being goofy today. He um got really excited earlier and almost knocked me over. When he, when he was coming running to me. And then as as you saw, he just now, he just really struggled to get over it, mm. to get himself unstuck. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> He's being a donut, that's for sure. Whose carriage? Looks fancy. That's probably Jeb's. So, uh, you want to talk about possibly moving her or her condition or what exactly? All of the above, I guess, man. Oh. Um, uh, I got a lot of stuff what? to talk to you about, to be honest. Um, <sighs> good news. First, mm -hmm. we officially mm -hmm. have a case for Sissica abuse. Good. Good. Fucking finally, some of the good. brass had the balls to open one up. So I need to, one, we need to talk so I can get a proper statement from you on what you've witnessed firsthand, and then two, as chief medical, I need to get any records I'm allowed to, basically, from those that have been abused. I got a bit of a list okay. Okay. Uh, of those that I'm fairly certain, if not positive, have given their permission already, but... Um, but also first, really quick. Oh, yeah, go, right. go, go. Uh, no, you go. Really quick. Um, Hans, mm. Nora are mm. now also uh, chiefs of medicine. So, uh, just to let you know. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Um, because I this I, I can't do this shit by myself. <laughs> so it's a triumvirate of chiefs, huh? Yes. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. Um. Is Mercer right, so... a lead? Did I hear that right? Yes. Yes. He is. Okay. Yes. Um, yes. Okay. That's fine. Is that, and do you have my training uh, card? Uh, yes. Is it you? Me... I'm not... Uh, so any any of us, any of the trainers can uh, mark you down on things. Okay. I just was wondering. I was trying to talk to Suge about it, and she said night. she'd seen my card, but hadn't... Going back to bed. All right, good night, good Carl. Night. Oh, good night, Carl. I love you. Bye, Carl. Don't turn around, go to bed! Love you too, bye! Love oh, both of you. Well. Oh, that's yeah, sweet. love both of you. 
Good night. Nope. I'm the weakest man I've ever been a part. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, now you you asked Shug about it and what? Oh, I was just asking Shug because I was... So Mercer the other night was like, yeah, you can do a test and not be a trainee anymore. Just be a field mm -hmm. medic. And he started quizzing me on stuff. But then I was like, ah, uh, I'd rather go through this with the people that I've actually been working with and figure yeah, out yeah. what I'm supposed to be doing to actually graduate. Yeah, and I'm going to tell you right now, he is really good. Um, and he is very, very uh, detail-oriented with things. He's very well. good. So he ever... is detail-oriented. But, ma'am, he grinds yeah. me the wrong fucking way. I'm going to be honest with you. Really? Yeah. I've huh. seen some sexist, chauvinistic things that I really did not enjoy. Huh. Yeah. As a marshal and right. as a medic. I haven't seen him treat many people. I know he's detail oriented, but he's just kind of arrogant. Yeah. Hm. All right. I ain't All anything right. that I feel like needed to be reported on, but just we. I'm cordial and I'll be friendly, but just in terms of learning, I prefer to learn from people I can trust. And you know, I know he's good. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. I'll uh, make a note of that. But uh, yeah, he uh. Maybe it's because he was hanging out with that Walsh fella, Dr. Walsh. Mm -hmm. It's possible. It's it possible. was, oh God, real early in my day one time in Valentine with uh, him and Walsh and me and Moss. Mm -hmm. And him and Walsh were just being assholes, basically. Yeah. To the point where it ended up fisticuffs with Walsh, uh, sorry, with Mercer and... Uh, Mercer and Moss in the Valentine pig pens for some kind of pissing contest, so she knocked him the fuck out. <laughs> Which I was not upset to see. Let's put it that way. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm just kind of kind of surprised by that because he's never really been like that with towards myself or anybody I've ever, I haven't heard anything like that from him. Oh, hmm. I don't know, man. Weird. Alright. All right. Uh, okay. How's Parker doing? Should we go inside and... Yeah, no, let's go inside take a look. Parker, wake up! Parker, wake up! Alright, well... So far, I haven't seen any difference. Uh, Who drew that picture? Any idea? I have no idea. It's cute. Okay. Yeah. Um. There again, there hasn't been any any change. Right, now, Nikki. What we have been doing is, uh, like I've instructed the nurses to do. Um, whenever you have people that are in a coma, obviously they can't get up and move around on their own. Um, so what they'll what we'll do is uh, move their legs, you know, rotate them in the in the hip joint and everything like that. Uh, move the feet, you know, just just move appendages and limbs and such, um, just so we don't have to worry about any kind of uh, blood clotting or anything of that sort. Um, so that, that's one thing that's been continued along with to make sure she's getting nutrients and such. Uh, uh, we can go ahead what we'll do is go ahead and uh you put a little tube down down the throat that goes in the stomach and just uh put bone broth down there if mm, uh, we can't get okay. her to drink it on her own i'm guessing she's too yeah, unresponsive so kinda... for that so far yeah yeah um but again i i i haven't heard of any change or anything like that no one's let me know the nurses haven't told me of any kind of change now in regards to moving her i <sighs> It's possible, however, until I would like for the the head to heal a little bit more. Um, and if it would be even better if, if she would wake up and and then transport her, just because you know again there was that injury to the brain and everything like that, any little bump and thing like that, you know, along the road could could cause another problem. Yeah, no. So I have... 
there is a concern security wise yeah. for her at the moment because of someone Clem's hunting. Okay. So we're worried about just leaving her here in Rhodes. Okay. Um, but I also know her two places, well, three places of residence aren't great. One is a hotel where I live with Clem in Saint-Denis. The other is Valentine's Saloon. And of course there's Redford, but that's so far. Like you say, if we don't yeah. want to move her far, that's too far and too bumpy yeah. and too risky. Yeah. And we don't want it. another thing is is uh, she kind of needs around the clock here, you know. Mm, I know. Um you know, things things change to get the feeding and everything like that. Um, I'm more the, than the willing are... to pay a nurse for in-home care somewhere. If that's what it takes, I got the money. Honestly, I do. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. not like it's doing anything else until houses are available for sale in this area. But uh, mm -hmm. if that's what it takes, well, I can pay for that. Yeah, My... It's just finding a, an adequate place. Yeah. That's the tough part. People were talking about, well, Clem and some others were talking about maybe Donnie's house. But maybe you know as well as I do how she'd react to that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah. No, because if she wakes up at any point and goes under the stress of realizing where the fuck she's at, that's, that could be bad. That's exactly what I thought, and I refused. I said no. I said I'd find somewhere else, but... I mean, I just don't know where. I mean, I'm... Fuck it, I would buy one of the houses across the street if that was even possible to put her there, but... Well, I do have a ranch right down the road there. Would you be okay with that? I'd be okay with it. I know Grace would be okay with it as well. Um, I would be so grateful. Right now... Clem would be so grateful. Yeah. I, I don't mind. And, you know, plus I could, I could help keep an eye on her as well. We have... I can even put her up in the room that I sleep in. Oh just so, God. you know, there's no dis, 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 disturbing... Disturb? What are we running around looking for? Yes, thank you. Um, I'd, I'd be fine with it. And again, you know, it's 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 right down the road. Yeah, honestly, it would be perfect. There's people, there's voices she knows of people she loves and trusts. Exactly, and you we'd know, come by I, as often as you'd allow us to come be annoying and you, talk to her. You'd and... be, yeah, you'd be allowed to be there anytime. Um, and you know, it would actually mean a lot because uh, when when Sabrina had you know had the place, she. She was excited because there was extra beds in case, you know, somebody needed needed to be taken care of. It's not, it's not the first time we've hit someone out at the ranch before either, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And there's there's cats there that they could snuggle up with her at night, you know? Oh, God. That would be... Thank you. Honestly, yeah. thank you. It's no problem. And I can, uh... I can show you guys, I can, you know, slip you guys some extra keys and, and, uh, yeah. so you can get in and out. If you, if you can, um. Yeah, it's, well, it's, it's gonna be more of a, I'm gonna show you what window you can yeah. open up and get through. I heard. And by a few times when you had folk jumping in and out of the window, <laughs> there may or may not have been lassoes involved, but. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. So, um, let me show you how the. Just say I've given you some keys or something there. Um, so yeah, I I don't mind. I I think uh, I think it'd be good. Because honestly, who's who's gonna think to fucking look there? Well, and even if they did, they got all of you to contend with. Exactly. Exactly. And us patrolling all the damn time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, when uh, when. When it's good for her to move, we'll 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 get her moved and uh just you know, if, if I'm mm -hmm. off doing something or not sitting out front there and, and mm -hmm. we feel it's a good time to move her, just you know, yell at me in any way that you need to. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Um Thank you, Vegas. Thank you so yeah, much. It's no problem. It's no problem. Again, it's it's I just knew when Sabrina would have loved it. She yeah. she would have she would have because, you know, that, that that again, opening that house up to people who need help and you know, Grace, I know, would, would be would be very happy about it, too. 
Yeah. And if there's anything y'all need, anything that has any cost involved at all in all this, you just let me know. Yeah. I'll we'll spend that government we'll money on something. <laughs> you don't have so many horses, right? Right. And <laughs> trainer's here fast asleep, so I'm not going to buy more right now. <laughs> Oh, I wonder if Bundy ever fucking paid her. I should make sure he did. <laughs> oh, no. I hope so. He owed her for a horse, goddammit. Maybe oh, make him no. pay for anything first. Let's see. <laughs> Call it interest. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <sighs> um, That's so nice. But, yeah. yeah we'll, it's uh, just we a relief, I'll be honest. Cause oh. I've seen the way... Her skin basically crawls anytime she hears Donnie's voice. You know, like, yeah. her and I are doing our best to work on being cordial, at least with Donnie for Clem's sake, but mm -hmm. we're not there yet, and I couldn't imagine how her mind would react. It's not oh, like no. he's got no, a that, quiet that's... voice, you know? No, when... Uh... It, you know, that's not something that someone's <laughs> going to want to fucking hear when they first wake up out of a coma. That she's already got that trauma going on with her head. Yeah. Along with the other injuries and everything like that, that's just going to that's gonna put stress on your body. It's going to cause your heart rate to go up, um, you know, and, and things. It just yeah. it wouldn't be good. It wouldn't be good at all. That was my thinking. I mean, my, my instinct, anyway, without the knowledge to back it up, but yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Well, that is that is the good news of the day. Um mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no problem. No problem. <sighs> oh another thing. That one percent <clears throat> solution, what was that called that Tallulah had Carp us? Uh carb Carbolic acid, I believe. Carbolic acid. I was in the middle of writing the notes for that Charlie fellow. Yeah, car it, yeah it's carbolic something. I, okay. Yeah. Because I was in the middle of writing the notes for that fella, and then I was like, shit, I'm stuck. I can't remember what the solution <laughs> was. I know it was 1%, uh, yeah. and I know that sounds yeah. right. Um, but... look th if you want, you can also look through the, the books and stuff um, and just kind of look for that word. Um the, okay. the carbolic word, and yeah. that'll that'll give you an idea how to spell it and everything like that. Perfect. I will do that. I mean, it it was just a simple stitch and and a, and yeah. about any antiseptic. Uh, yeah, scrubbing out the the wound and whatnot. So, they have big yeah, notes. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure I got them right. Yeah, yeah. No, you're good. You're good. You are good. <sighs> oh, that's good. Okay. Um. Well, do you want to talk about this? Sissica stuff now. We can step out sure. of her here and if it would be stressful. Yeah, yeah, we can. Not too close to that fella because he looks like he'll get yep. angry. Yeah, usually I'll tie them up and take them back to the chicken coop and let them calm down. Hmm. Fair. Oh, were you involved in this stuff before I get into the Sissica stuff? Last night in San Denis with Casey, is it? Yes, I did work on her, yeah. Uh, and... I have a case open for the person that took her. Uh-huh. Can I, or can you ask her if I can have her medical records <coughs> for the warrant? Yeah, um, if I can see her because we went to go check on her and she wasn't there so I need to figure out where the fuck they took her or where she went you know uh, I went in late last night and I saw a fella by the name of Black Pit Pete yeah he yeah said there she's was been there taken was... upstairs by a nurse and he was standing yeah. guard yeah uh, but she has been moved since then and I really what is this guy behind me doing I do not have a clue what sir do you need help Am I blind? Do you want this chair? Is that your problem? You're just blind. Sir, do you need do you need some medical assistance? Howdy. Sister. Howdy. What you doing? Sir, do you need do you need medical? Okay, okay. Apparently, right. about to get what is pushed he? over by this local fellow. Wait. Yeah, what? He's stealing a horse. 
Or is that no, his voice? No, that's, that, no, that's his voice. That's his voice. Okay. I... Yeah, he could have just... Yeah. You know what? Or I'm gone not around? Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna... You know what? It's, yeah. it's fine. He, he was probably really not sure if he wanted to get on the horse or not. Mm. Uh, I'm just down here checking in on this Parker. What are you two doing? Mm. Still sleeping. Fair enough. Is there anything crazy going on that we should know about? Uh, if there is, I'm trying to have nothing to do with it still. <laughs> wow. You know what? That is so unlike you. Good for you, Ty. Thank you. I'm trying. Finally. I'm not saying I'm succeeding, but I'm trying. So far, so good. Oh, Anson was down there by the church, though. Well, he was when I came this way, but thank you. Yes, I'm trying. I am trying. Yeah. You never know. Maybe what one day I'll do something actually fun. Well, I mean, I think that's up to you. You are more than capable of doing fun things. Ah, uh, yeah. Rumor After has it. All, you are a grown man, and you uh, can do whatever you want. Yes, I can. Whatever yes, I can. choose. Uh huh. Maybe Free to make that. my own choices and decisions, right? Yes. How's married life? I don't know why people ask that because I feel like it's like exactly, exactly the same as it was. Bit. Fair. Like what are we what are we doing different? Like You tell us. Well, maybe don't. Nothing. Everything is literally the same besides the name change or whatever. Well, does that feel different? Not really. I mean, it feels weird when people fucking pick on me for it, but... Other pick on that, you for it? Oh. Fucking people. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, can I... Can I tell you guys kind of... Kind of an adult joke really quick? Sure. Involving marriage. So, <clears throat> what's... What's the one... The, the one food that causes a woman to close her legs? Wedding cake! <laughs> Oh. <laughs> enjoy. I don't get it. You, oh. I'll tell you when you're yeah. older. Yeah. Yeah. Ow. Oh. Oh, oh dear. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Imagine anybody that has ever been married gets the joke. I've never been married, but you know. Yep, yep. Yep, I've heard rumors as well. Mm-hmm. Oh, I get it now. Oh! <laughs> See we smoke go. come out of her ears. <laughs> oh. You know... <laughs> you like to live dangerously. We're fucking marshals. What do you think? <laughs> you are. Yeah, I get Oh. <laughs> I don't know you, how to jump back from that. You okay there? No, because I didn't. Oh, really there's Anson. If you want to yell at him, Let's fucking go yell at him. <laughs> yep, have fun with that. Yep, have fun yelling. <laughs> it's true. They're both marshals, so they're fucking marshals. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Ooh. exactly, exactly. Until the wedding cake kicks in, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if they had cake. Maybe they just had Gorma bananas. Oh, may you know what? Maybe that's maybe that's a secret. Don't yeah. have cake. I'm gonna make a make a mental note uh, when I get married. Don't have cake. No cake. No cake on marriage. <sighs> so, do you know much about this case that Casey's involved in? Uh, a little bit. Um, I know that. There was a person that was that was uh, going after um, the previous owner of the of the Van Horn. I don't know if she still owns it. Uh, named Lily. Um, 
uh, never did actually get a hold of Lily, but instead uh, hurt some other people around her that Lily cared about, um, Casey being one of them as well. Mm. Uh, then I guess something happened and she got shot or something and she just kind of disappeared. And I think everybody kind of figured that she probably just died. Uh, and now she's surfaced again and got a hold of Casey. Yeah. It, it, and Lily. It wasn't pretty. It wasn't pretty at all. I've seen the pictures of the fucking hands. Yeah. Or what? And the bits then, that were taken off the hands. Yeah. Uh, there was more than just that, though. Um, <sighs> being that you're a medical person, I could kind of tell you a little more as long as it's not put down in any, any reports until um, we are... Okay. We've gotten the consent. Yeah, sure. Uh, 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 there were some things carved into the body. Jesus it, Christ. I think I heard it, something about this from someone. It was not. It was... It was not for the faint of heart to see the whole situation. Um, and I... It's... it's As bad as it is, I've seen shit like this before. And I've seen worse, which is, again, not for the faint of heart. Yeah. But my worry now is, uh, what more is this person going to fucking do? Not only to her, but to maybe other people that are, that were, you know... Do we know why her? Know why? Hmm. Do we have any no idea. idea why her and Lily? Like... From what I was told, uh, originally it was because this woman was obsessed with Lily, and, uh, and she couldn't have Lily dating or something. Well, Lily and Casey were dating at one point, yes. Um, however, they have they had broken up uh, a good amount of time ago. Okay. But they they had broken up uh, at the time period where this woman wasn't around. Oh, so, so when she was around in February, they were together, but now they're not. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. She may just not know. Mm-hmm. Or if she does, she doesn't care, because it's already exactly. an obsession. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. And everyone else is just connected because they're friends? Like, like why Correct. use the Sandini, like, nearest the store? Why use that? Why use all of it? Jesus. Oh, it's because it's all connected in one way or another to Lily. And now Lily isn't going to be found and isn't going to be any use to us on the case. Great. I don't know. No, I talked um, to Armstrong. I've... He talked to her. Uh, Marshall uh, Armstrong is a yeah, yeah, yeah. Lily Armstrong. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Confirm that she's okay, but she'd be no help in the case. Okay, so Lily is okay, though? Well, other than being minus a finger, yeah. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. Fuck. Oh my god. I mean, I hope you can find KC so I can get these medical records, but I'll be honest, she's not hiding who she is, so I don't exactly need uh, all of it for the warrant, you know? And start um, yeah, working I'm on gonna... it. I just want to make sure I got everything I can. Yeah. yeah. Oh god. Okay. 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 This is fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. Everything is not fine, Vegas. Everything no, everything's not. Everything is no, a no. burning dumpster fire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Trash pile fire of some description. Mm hmm. Good times. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Just... Mm, next time y'all have something like that going on in Saint Denis and a whole bunch of people at the doctor's office, mm -hmm. please ask them not to pull guns on the marshal. Oh, yeah, well, uh, that was, you know... Uh, I know it wasn't I, you, I know. Well, no, yeah, I mean, they, they were just trying to protect her. You know? I know. And I respect it, like I respect it. I also try and respect, you know, Van Horn folk do Van Horn things, but... Poor Reuben didn't deserve that. 
I'm just glad it was Reuben and he has the common sense to go hang on. Okay, I'm gonna go get I'm gonna go get Ty because I know Ty is working on this. <laughs> yeah. I just you know if they had done that to Armstrong, he probably would have just punched somebody because that's Armstrong. Yeah, and that probably would have turned into a whole fucking mess. Yeah. Yeah. I get it, but at the same time, it just it wouldn't have helped yeah. anyone. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so, the Sisica thing. Yeah. Um, I don't know a lot. I just, I'm just trying to think of... I'm gonna have to go through some papers and things. And see if I, if there's any notes made about when we check people. Because, was it Wiz one of them? Yeah, Wiz is giving his own statement to okay. Oakley. Okay. So I just... Mm -hmm. I got a list here of medical records that we believe are okay to have. And mm -hmm. some that we like but don't yet have uh permission for and may not get permission for i don't think i'll push it because i think we got enough from the ones we do have permission for yeah, uh, yeah but most recently all of jackson okay obviously there's donnie and kuyo mm -hmm. uh elvin tabernacle rumor has it he okay. might be dead i don't know i don't know if he's dead or idea. just out of state I haven't yeah, ever I seen a death report, but doesn't mean he's alive, I guess. I don't yeah. know. Ford Riker, Cassius Crane, Wiz, Mills recently as well. Uh, ideally, Lou as well. I know you yeah, treated yeah, Lou. I, I just don't know yeah, how comfortable I, he's going to be with that yet. I'll work on it. I'm his parole officer, so I might have some sway. Or he may tell me to go fuck myself, which is perfectly valid. Yeah, yeah. I know Mickey, Kiernan, and, and Pearl were out there. And they went through some shit, but I don't think they're comfortable talking. So, I'm leaving them off for now. Just earmark it if you do have medical records for them. Alright. And I'll let the AG know, but... I'm guessing no one's seen Pearl or been out there to see Pearl. I don't even know if she's still alive out there. Yeah. I saw her one time when we were taking Mickey out there, and she was a mess. See, uh, the, when it comes to Sisica stuff, I uh, I haven't been told a lot of things. Um, and mm. anytime anybody's been worked on over there, nobody, like, I've told numerous times that, hey, if you need someone to go out there and take a look at people, I, I could do that. That's fine. Mm. But, uh, nothing. Fuck. Okay. Well, I can give you some time to go over what you do have, if that's better than talking right now about it. Um, just so you... I, honestly, the, the only one that's really coming to mind would be Wiz. Right, okay. Because I treated him after, uh, he got out, I think. Mm-hmm. Have you... Um... Or though not directly treated people, have you witnessed enough to feel comfortable providing some kind of formal statement as to the conditions out there, or the... I've abuses? never seen them. Okay. Uh, hey, that's good to know. It's good to know. I know firsthand that Drummond, Clem, and Juju have. Because I know they've, and Hans, I believe, have all been out there to help treat people. But I wasn't sure. I know you'd treated a few that had come back, like Wiz, but I wasn't sure who else. You treated Lou, too, didn't you, when he got back? Uh, yes. Yes. Um, I'm trying to remember. Uh, his, uh, his prostate was broken, um, where the, the hand had been removed, uh, prior to him going in. That was <gasps> severely Eric! fucking infected, and it, it How you doing, buddy? really bad. Um, I think, yeah. I think if I remember right, he was also sick, and because yeah. his body was trying to fight off two things right? at once there. Yeah, malnourished, yeah, that's part of it as well. Mm. Um, lack of sleep. You know, anything like that is going to keep your body from being able to heal. I went out there with Winona, and I know she helped try and clean him up a bit. 
feed him some, but I don't know if she ever wrote it down specifically what she did. Yeah. Because of her being, you know, a medic rather than a doctor and well, just doing everybody, what she could, but... Yeah, yeah. And, well, and the thing is, like, I, I'm, I'm really trying to emphasize that we get medical reports made, uh, yeah, regardless of your trainee, uh, yeah. license, you know, all of that stuff. You seen, speaking of reports, though, you seen these posters for a Dr. Crow? Uh-huh. Who the fuck is it? No idea, but I'm not happy about it. I've let Hans know about it. Um... There legally anything we can do is other than f like, can we sue him for Only fraud? if he's not really a only. If it, that's the only thing I can think of if he's not really a doctor. But guy mm. could have a fucking light. He could be licensed from you know somewhere else. Mhm. Mm so just because we don't have him on our register, don't mean he's not a doctor. Exactly. Exactly. What if he just wasn't a medical doctor? Would that be fraud? Well, wouldn't any doctor be some kind of medical, though? Don't they give doctorates to smart people, too? But, it well, at the end of the day, it's still showing that, hey, he would treat you for medical reasons. Posted does say it? Okay, I couldn't recall. I'd only seen it a couple yeah, of times. Yeah, it says need a do it, I can't remember what the fuck it says off the top of my head. Yeah, okay. It's something about no medical reports, no snitching. Yeah, yeah, I knew that much. And you, you want to know the kind of funny thing is, um, we don't snitch, um, we, we, like for our own safety. I don't, you know, if if if, if you know, mm. criminal number seven sends me a telegram and says, "Hey, I've been shot. I'm at this location." I don't go and tell every marshal, "Hey, criminal number seven is at this location. I'm going to treat them," because that puts my safety at risk. I go and do the job, and then I can say, oh yeah, I did treat criminal number seven. But I don't know where they're going, because they didn't tell me kind of thing, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. Absolutely, I know. It's... So it that, that's one that's of kind of the, the irony I find in it, is that, you know, we, we... The medical reports are, again, mainly for if, you know, somebody does a big treatment on somebody, and... There needs to be follow-up care, and that person who treated them cannot be, you know, around to uh, mm -hmm. follow up or anything like that. If someone else needs to do a treatment, or if the person gets injured again with something else, it, we we have a record of, hey, this is what was done, um, you know, uh, in case so that there's no kind of conflict of, of medication we perform or any kind of procedures we perform or anything of that sort. Yeah, absolutely. I guess they're just worried because there is a record. I mean, legally, we can subpoena it, you know? Yeah, yeah. Which I think we need to be able to do, but it doesn't make you a which, snitch. Exactly, exactly. It doesn't. Uh, we're not going in and, you know, broadcasting. You know, Criminal 43 is in this location because I'm going to go treat them right now. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. William, right? Will? We're discreet as well, but you know, <clears throat> what do I know? I'm just a doctor. Yeah, just a doctor. I'm just a doctor. A good one. Eh. Anyway. Hello, hello. Howdy. Jean Marc, there. Howdy. Oh, what's up, Bill? How you doing? Jesus, Bear, I'm all right. What's happening, boys? Well, that's good. We are worried about our friend Frederick Tyrell. Yeah, you hear about last night? Yeah, wait, we wait. was coming here to see if anyone you know knew anything. But I reckon y'all are as clueless as us. I have uh, zero idea. Medically, I I can't disclose um, you know injuries and treatment and such. Uh, however, when he he did sleep here last night somewhere, I think he said he was going to go over to the the pink hotel there and, and go to sleep. Um. I really don't know what happened either. Um, I just saw the aftermath. Wait, no, we order later oh, dates. Okay. It's uh, gonna be a Rhodes case though. So uh, as a marshal, I got no idea either. Okay. Hi. Well, I appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. No, of course, gentlemen. I hope he's okay. Yeah, I'm sure. 
All right, well, we won't keep y'all too long. Y'all probably busy. Right. Trying to have a day off, but you know. Uh, I don't <laughs> think that exists for you, Tyrell. No, right? it, listen, if you're you're in the medical community, you don't get a day off. And I mean, I'm you a could if, if you, you wanted know, to. I'm a yeah, marshal yeah, I mean, and in the medical community. I literally, yeah. any time I think I'm taking a day off, <laughs> somebody does something stupid. Yeah, it's really hard to ignore the telegrams, isn't it? So hard. I've tr I've I've tried a couple of times, and I'm like, Ugh. Irina was threatening to just kidnap me up to Coulter with her Arno <laughs> telegrams. <laughs> and it's hard to ignore groups of people riding as a marshal, like even yeah, though they yeah. may have perfectly legitimate legal reasons for riding together. You know, listen. Even, even as 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 someone especially when they do shit like that, like stop, turn around, and point their binoculars and, yeah, at me. Yeah, yeah, or binoculars, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, you know, even even as somebody who has has you know been around a lot of criminals and stuff in my past, and just mm -hmm. had, had a label and for oh okay, don't don't they're trying to distract you, they're trying yep. to pull you out. <sighs> Colton. Oh, shit. Oh, thanks. No, I was trying to turn around. What the fuck? You're fine. You're fine. Oh, no, he's angry too. I'm walking away from him. Well, Colton went riding his horse over that way. Damn fuck. it. He knows better. He fucking knows better. Gunshot over by the stables. Colton and Vegas went to look at it. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Everett Jason question mark? He just rode through with two others. Anything? No. No. No, nope, they had an indirection of sand name. Of course they did. Yeah, I'm just trying to draw people out. That's what I figured. That's why I went to find more people. Mm -hmm. You know, I just casually walk over to where Colton's at. Well, I didn't hear any more gunshots, so I figured, you know, either they already had a hostage in Colton, or they're gone. Oh well. There you go. They've gone to Saint Denis to cause fun and games for everybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, which reminds me, I need to go over to the telegram office. <laughs> <laughs> well, up to you two what you want to do, whether you want to follow him into Saint Denis or not, but. Isn't Everett Jackson still meant to be. Doing Ram Ranch or some shit? Uh, I'm not sure. In which case, he should not be committing any more crimes. <laughs> or his warrants go out. Did not get served? Or I guess part of it got served? Well, the thing is about Ram Ranch, if you fail to comply with Ram Ranch, 
you go directly to jail. Mm, okay. Ride safe, gentlemen. Be safe, be safe. And then Parker rode up to us because they, because Parker and Andrew thought I was going to <laughs> So Everett Jackson was just in town, huh? I mean, he matched the mugshot that I've seen in there, so... <clears throat> oh, shit, that reminds me. I gotta check for this Lee fella's mugshot. Yep. Lee? Yeah, apparently a Lee was arrested in town last night. Wait, here? Yeah, after a Shady Bell incident. Okay, I know... One of them involved, Stella said Jesse was involved. So yeah, Jesse, Jesse Sweet. Yeah, that's him. That's the one who runs with Lee. Yeah. That means I got to update his warrant, man. I think it was arrested. Yeah. We'll see. Make sure it's the same Lee. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I could just match the description with it. Oh, I've seen him. I I've met Lee face to face. I it guess off the record, you know, if it matched the description you gave me. Yeah, fair. But, uh, I mean, with the new, you know, I mean, the new law book we got, mm. I did update the warrant to that yeah. as well. So, I mean, all the, you know. Who's ripping up Marshall posters? Probably Juju, because she keeps putting her saloon poster over it. could come see me I see we could make sweet eyes at each other oh actually one thing I, I do need to talk to you about as well.
what's on the agenda tonight, gentlemen? Hmm. Not sure. Fair enough. Did you... Oh, by the way, do you know something I heard today? Which you might already know, Taro. No, but go ahead. Apparently, after Graves steps down at the end of this term, Ford Riker's gonna run for Sheriff of Armadillo. Of course he is. Of course. Because, you know, they couldn't make New Austin lawless by trying to force it. They'll just make it lawless by having only people that don't care about enforcing the law in enforcing the law positions. Yeah, that's uh, that's the concern that was brought to me. Mm hmm. I can see it now. Plus, uh, Kincaid. Because <laughs> for some reason, yeah. he doesn't like Marshalls. Crenshaw. Well, I don't know why. I don't know why he could ever <laughs> like Marshalls. And uh, doesn't help yeah, that seems to be Casper Goed is his chief of police. Hmm. And because we wouldn't make him a marshal, or even let him be a shadow marshal, he's all kinds of upset, remember? I think for the most part, you know, someone hears one bad thing and then it just gets painted, you know, with the same brush. Yeah, that too. Even a collection of them. Huh. Plank said he needs them back. Who has the case on him at the moment? Anson, Where'd Anson go, by the way? To sleep in his favorite spot. Armadillo telegrams? Uh, no. Telegram station here. <laughs> I was joking. He went there late the other day. He did, yeah. He made us right down to New Austin, and he went to sleep. Yep. By the way, the uh, Sisica abuse stuff is now an official investigation, so if you have any criminals that have complained to you about abuse at Sisica that have legitimate claims and proof, get it to me or Oakley. Mm -hmm. I uh, have nothing. Yeah, just in case. Okay, I'm gonna go check out this mugshot at the sheriff's. I might ride down New Austin and probably go to sweep. I'll be honest. Think anyone's seen this? Oh, what I wanted to talk to you about is Clem told you about her friend Sindarius. <laughs> yeah, the religious zealot. Yeah, well, he's possibly the suspect on one, if not both, of the bodies that were found last week. Wait, the one with the eight stitched in the eye? The dockyard and the eight stitch, yeah. And he sent Clem a possible confession through Telegram, but, uh,. I'm having a hard time getting it from her. To find out it's taking a bit of time so. off at the moment because of the Parker situation. Uh, yeah, I know. Okay. Uh, Fuck, if I, I was just gonna see or hear you. anything, I'll let you know. Yeah. 
Oh, let's just name. But I got the autopsy for the dockyard yesterday from Moss. She's, wait she's waiting on results for the cooking station one. But okay. okay. Take a read over that and see if it's related. Fair enough. <sighs> How are you again? We're we're going to go check to Okay. Lee. There's a Lindsay Finch and a Jesse Sweet. Yeah, it's the Lindsay Finch. How oh, is that his name, is it? It doesn't match the description that I have of the brown hair. I guess description you go. I'll just break that window. God, that's a. Who the fuck takes a mugshot with a bar across somebody's head? Not sure. That's. God fucking damn it, Carl. Am I confused or something? I thought Jesse had brown hair and Lee had blonde. So we got brown hair, green eyes for Lindsay Finch. Light complexion, 5'10". Could be. I I mean, I saw Jesse when he was in the Valentine gel. So last week, he had brown hair and a ponytail. And of course, this mugshot, the fucking suspect, has his hand covering half his face. Did Carl check IDs, or did he just take it for what, granted that that were their names? I'm not sure. What's confusing though, as well, is uh, the stuff I told you about the case of um, where Armstrong was robbed by a man named Jesse Lee and Dix or Dex or something. No. Uh, well, she. Let me look over. Uh, I guess her notes on it and the descriptions it was just to see if it matches you know, the description that I had of Lee and they seem back to front again like Jess Jesse's description seemed to be Lee's if you know what I mean and Lee seemed to be Jesse but uh, she did say Armstrong paid someone to write down descriptions of them because he felt like he was going to get robbed and he did get robbed of course I mean, this could be Jesse, but it is a terrible photo. I'd have to take a ride to Valentine, I guess. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I've seen the Valentine one, and that looked like Jesse that I knew. The Valentine one looked like the Jesse I knew, but because of how bad this fucking photo is, I'm gonna have to talk to Stella about making her staff take yep. better mugshots. Like, take the mugshot outside of the cell if you can't get a better one in the cell. Yeah, I mean, you always, yeah, just do it before you put them in there. Yeah. This could be him. The hair looks a little short, but everyone 
can get a haircut. Yep. So yeah, Jesse looks appropriate, but I can't tell if that's Lee or not. Could be. But I could have sworn his hair was light. The feller we yeah, saw in the Saint Denis medical office that matches the yeah, lady it, that we yeah, know. It was it's like a dirty blonde, right? Yeah. That yeah, it was yeah. That that's what I remember from the dockyard and the medical office. It was definitely not brown. So maybe the man going around being Lee isn't the Lee we know. Uh yeah, it, it's possible but i guess the thing that links them to is i mean carson from valentine told me that you know, there was a man that was riding with jesse did introduce himself as lee so what i'm saying is if you're lee you're a student at kincaid some kind of master puppet mind right what if uh mm. What if you're trying to make the world think that Lee is somebody else? Yeah, it's very much possible. And you know people are looking for Lee, because, I mean, his name's not Lee. His name's Lindsay Finch. Maybe nobody's mm -hmm. called Lee, really. Maybe the Lee yeah. we're looking for isn't called Lee. Uh, no, maybe it's just an alias. Or... <sighs> If I see Lee and Lee face to face, I'm going to know, right? If I see this guy yep. that's calling himself Lee, I'm going to know mm -hmm. if that's the Lee we're looking for. But bad descriptions that are similar but not quite right are a good way to make everyone look in the wrong direction. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's... Very confusing. But, uh, again, I think that you know, Rhodes is really the only place I know that have something on him. I mean, now they have a record, but I mean, in terms of, you know, it's believed to be him. Wait, they didn't actually charge them for that. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Just trying to think. Fuck, Carl just went to bed. I don't even have a telegram for Carl. Do you? Because if we uh, could get a yeah. proper copy of the mugshot rather than just the thing he put in the record books here, we could take it to Carson and see if it looks like the same fellow. Uh, yeah, we could have done. Good idea, actually. I have his telegram, I can send him one. Alright. Shit, only Deputy Donuts on duty? God, poor Donut. I don't even fucking law on duty here in Rogues, huh? Just gotta hold it all yeah, down. Yeah. yeah, no. Well, he's good at it. He's good I at wonder it. he was acting out, though. Yeah, he's like, God damn it, I don't wanna do this. Yeah, yeah, that's fair, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, Ty, have you been taught how to treat, uh... Hold on, you know what, let me look at your medical card. Okay. I can't answer it because you never finished the question, but okay. Oh, 
Ooh, five. Okay, you've uh, you vocalized. You've done medical patient or er, medical report. Mm -hmm. uh, let me mark those down. Speaking of which, actually, now that I know that solution, I can look up the proper spelling and I can finish Charlie's record. Alright, have you uh, been taught how to deal with burns? Mmm, to an extent, but no, not formally. I just know I would cool the thing down and put as much of that self stuff on it as possible. Okay. Well, you're halfway there. Um, if, if it's a third degree, which you, you would see some crispy black skin, um, mm -hmm. don't mess with that. Uh, that's something a doctor will have to take care of, uh, okay. because it's going to require removal of that skin and things of that sort. Uh, so you would, uh, you would take the, the blackened area and wrap it, uh, um, or put the, put the burn, well, mm, no, you would focus on the second degree burns and such. With the black part, you know, put some cocaine powder on there wrap it with uh, the same kind of bandaging you're going to be wrapping the rest of it with. Which, so, first and second degree burns. Second degree, you're more good, you're going to have blistering and such. Um, the important thing with the blisters is do not pop them. By all, uh, do not pop them. Because okay. that's going to open up another wound, uh, cause infection, it's going to be painful. Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. one does happen to be popped, rinse it and clean it with, with cool saline. Don't be scrubbing on it, though. Just flush the hell out of it. Understood. Um, <clears throat> then what you're going to do is you're going to apply some burn cream. Um, and probably get some that has a little bit of cocaine powder in it to uh, help with the pain because it's going to be extremely painful. Um, you're then going to uh, wrap the burned area with uh, some soaked bandages. Now, there's a couple different things you can have them soaked in. I like to use bandages that have been soaked in lime water and turpentine. You're going to wrap the Sorry, you affected say area with that. Yep. That sounds painful. Yeah, yeah. But again, you got the, the, the burn cream with the, or the burn salve with the, um, with the uh, cocaine powder in that. If, if you happen to have salve that doesn't have cocaine powder, you can go ahead and just sprinkle, you know, kind of sprinkle it on there. Uh, so you're going to wrap it with those soaked bandages and then wrap those with uh, some some uh, regular bandaging. Um, the soaked bandages are usually cotton bad batting, cotton batting. Um, hey, Rue, how you doing, buddy? And Long the very important no thing about that is those bandages are not to be removed for at the minimum of five days. Um, <clears throat> and the other mm, important okay. thing is that those those uh, bandages need to continue to be soaked because if at any point if you put a dry bandage over a burn, there's that chance that when that bandage is removed, it could it could uh, get stuck on the, the burned area and actually start to remove parts of the skin. So that's, you know, uh, that's the reasoning for the soaked bandages. Um, uh, so, yeah, that's that's kind of the gist of it uh, for field medic wise. Um, you know, the blackened areas, go ahead and wrap those. Um, but though that needs to be taken care of as soon as possible because that we don't want that skin to keep going. Clean it off with a cool salve, or not cool salve, but uh, if if you can get cool saline, you know, rinse it off with the cool saline. Um, I believe you can use Thirsch's fluid as well. Uh, you know, don't don't be scrubbing on or anything. You know, flush it out, clean it like normal. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Blisters, do not pop them. If there are any that popped, clean them with the saline. Understood. Um, Wrap with soaked bandages and then uh, cover that with the regular bandages. The regular ba the uh, dried bandages you can go ahead and change those out, you know, daily and everything if they're starting to get dirty. So keeping it moist is key, huh? Yes, yes, yes. Right. Makes sense. Yeah. Um, and what I'll do is like next time I see you, if I remember, I'll uh, I'll just kind of give you a quick uh, like, hey, how do I do this? Yeah, for sure. Um, how are you on anatomy? Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, <laughs> the, 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 fuck, the chest, 
Um, do you know what two organs are in just the chest? Heart and lungs? Correct. So that's, you know, there you go. Um, now we're going to move to, like, the, uh, the abdomen. Okay. Which is, you know, the stomach, gut, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> um, mm. can you name me, uh... Some of the vital organs that are in that area. So you've got, obviously, as you just said, stomach, uh, kidneys, and liver. Uh, do the intestines count as organs of their own? Yes. Because you got big and little, or small and large. Is that what they're called? Yep. yep. Uh, there's a bladder. Mm -hmm. uh, I know I'm missing something. Mm, bunch of somethings, probably, but. You've got the the major ones. Oh, spleen. That's one, right? Yep. I don't know what yep. the fuck that does, but I know it's there uh, somewhere. Yeah, you've also got, uh, like, your pancreas, which, you know, we... In this day and age, we don't really know a lot about what the pancreas does. Yeah, um, yeah. Gallbladder. Gallbladder, uh, Appendix. Okay. Uh, there's a thing called a duodenum. A oh, what mm -hmm. the fuck is that? It's, uh, kind of... Duodenum. Yeah, Duodenum. I'm really bad at explaining how, where that's at. Um, mm -hmm. You'd have to look on the, the, uh, In the book charts that we have. Yeah. Um, so, one thing about the, uh, the abdomen, you know how in the chest, I've, I'm sure you've heard me use the term, the pleural cavity? Yes, that, like, space in behind the ribs, basically. Yeah, it's the little sac that surrounds your lungs. Yeah. Um, because the heart, the heart is not within that. Um, it is actually behind the lungs. So in the in the abdomen, there is the peritoneal cavity, and that's, that's kind of the yep. same thing. It's you know like a little sac that is holding uh, quite a few of those organs. The kidneys are not within that that area. Um. Most or part of your stomach is, uh, your intestines are in there. Uh, liver is. God damn it, I'm trying to remember if it's in there or not. Um, I don't believe the liver's in there. Right? So many big ass words. Uh, I'd have to, I'd have to double check. I see when I when I have to think about it like right now when I'm trying to explain it to somebody, my fucking head goes blank. Yeah, that's there. fair. I get that, too. Um, so, uh, whenever you're dealing with, you know, abdomen, um, <clears throat> abdomen wounds, um, you know, always check to see if any of those major organs were hit. And if they are, that's something that, you know, ends up being a pretty invasive procedure, um, depending on, again, if it's in the peritoneal Howdy. cavity or not. Okay, yeah. Howdy! Hello. Howdy? How are you doing? Doing okay. How you guys Howdy. doing? Is this Hi. Her Majesty's carriage? What's going on? Yes, because I'm now the sheriff of Valentine. I have to get carried around in a carriage wherever I go. This is why no. you had an under sheriff, isn't it? Just to For make sure there reasons, was someone to ferry you around. No, we took Dorian to Saint Denis, and he couldn't ride a horse, so I'm just back here riding what? back because there's no more space on the front. From Valentine? Uh, mm -hmm. How'd you get to Valentine? Not sure. Yeah, I have no idea, honestly. Okay. Is he yeah, doing he okay? Kind of, yeah. Uh, he's a little bit sore, but. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Sore, <laughs> rattled. Understandably upset. Is it his first time getting shot? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was. Oh, yeah. It's always fun. What a way to get your first time being shot, though. I don't even know what the fuck happened and I was here. Mm, when it happened. For legal reasons, I don't think I can answer that question. Nah, you're fine, you're fine. <laughs> I know, I'll tell you later. Okay. That's actually one thing I do know that happened. Let's <laughs> <laughs> Uh, miscommunication is my understanding of the situation. Mm-hmm. Oh, That's a boy. good way to put it. To say the least. Yep. 
Huh, alright. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm. alright. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm just glad he's okay. Yeah, I think we're we're all glad that he's okay. Yeah, yeah. Anyone seen Clover today? Uh, I understand that she went to bed after the uh, hearing. How did that go? Oh yeah, what happened? Anyone? Up uh, it, uh, it, it's it's going to a... trial. Yeah. Really? Uh -huh. And he's getting parole next week. Oh. Okay. While waiting for a trial or what? Uh yeah. So to be in Cisco a minimum of two weeks before he can get parole mm -hmm. and I think he's been in there nine days so he has to wait a few days before make a phone paper okay mm. <laughs> what was the original reason he went uh oh sorry first degree murder Warren. Ooh. okay I heard from uh Oh, no. Apparently the Sisic guards are letting him use an office or something out there, which I thought sounded kind of unusual. Wait, use what? It's a, not an office. office. It, it's a visitation room that uh, the guards are uh, to use. Just has okay. a few seats okay. in a room, pretty much. Yeah, okay. That, a yep. visitation room is quite different to an office, so... I mean, it's a room with a desk and a, and a bench. It's what mm -hmm. the guard told me was a visitation room when I... Took uh, Sunday Howdy. over there. Howdy. Howdy. Howdy again. Alright, well, yeah. You'll have a quiet evening. Oh, fuck yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Fuck All off. Right, Leave town. <laughs> <laughs> Vegas. Yes. Oh. I got fucked up by wolves. Oh. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you calling? Right. Are you calling? Call Shepard wolf. wolf. <laughs> Alright, come on in, guys. We're gonna have them take a look at you. Oh. Good. That's my little trainees. Thank you. Oh, get seen. off of me. It was so hard. Get away. <laughs> Alright. There's so we're many gonna... of them. Alright, oh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and we're going to have a seat. We'll have Colton and, uh, and Tyrell take a look at you, okay? I don't wanna sit. You don't wanna sit? Okay. Alright. I oh. will, I will. I mean, well, okay, if you, you don't can... want to sit in that chair, there's this chair over here. You can lie down, you don't get stuck or... in. Oh, well, not right now, but yeah, you can sit over there. You don't... Yeah, yeah, yeah that chair, yeah. That yeah, yeah, totally. I have never struggled with wolves so bad in my life. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> How long have you been out there? <laughs> like an hour. Oh my gosh. Okay, alright. Alright, you guys, go ahead and uh, go ahead and keep looking at her. I played dead, I did everything, okay? <laughs> I think they wanted my innards to be outards. Oh my god. But I'm not, luckily, my innards are still innards. Uh, good, good, yeah, yeah, I no, that's good, that's good. I wouldn't have gone all the way good. here if it wasn't, you know, who was yeah, that bad. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. <Right>. Okay. <laughs> you guys, it's... It's it's uh it's on you guys now. Yeah. Ellie Parker. Oh, if I had to complain, it medic. would be my waist area and unfortunately my head. But that's probably because I fell off my horse. Oh dear. Okay. Uh, I... See. Well, and I and again, I'm I'm Colton Quinn, and do I have permission to touch me? Yes. Uh... Yes. I am so glad your husband is not here with us. <laughs> Speaking of, oh, why was like he that. not? I mean, <laughs> because he went to bed, so it was just me, and I was looking for something because I promised I would do something, and then the wolves, there were so <clears> many of them, there were like six of them, and they were big, they were big ones, and they like bit my horse, and then they bit me, and then I, oh, do you mind? I couldn't get away. Oh god, do you want to take off your hat and I can have a look at your head while... Colton's <laughs> checking your wolf bites. Yeah, let me, uh, let me check your bites here. Oh, dear. Alright, I'm 
I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rinse these a little clean so I can see how deep they go. Make sure there's no uh, debris, whether it be claws or teeth or anything like that. Dirt. You said you was on the ground, so. No one came to rescue me. I shot Where so many you? times. I was right above Valentine. Oh. Oh, I fired that gun so many times. Skill issue. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad you said it. I was thinking it. Because you've said it to me enough times. But. Yeah, I'm just going to put a little bit of salve on these bumps. Alright, let me rinse those. See how deep they are. Ty, do you know uh, how to check for concussions? Mmm. I've. Been personally checked a few times, but not specifically. If you want to walk me through it, we can do that as well. So find out if she's feeling dizzy or nauseous. Okay, Parker, are you feeling dizzy or nauseous at all? Okay. Yeah, but I can't tell if it's because of the sight of blood or what. I'm not very good with that stuff. Yeah. Okay. I get faint. Okay. Okay. All right, so <clears throat> what you're going to do is, uh, luckily you have a little light right there, or you can use a match. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to check her pupils. If they react normally to the light, then she mm -hmm. probably doesn't have a concussion. If the pupils contract slowly, or they don't contract at all, and they dilate, mm -hmm. which means they would get bigger, um, that's signs of a concussion. If one reacts and the other one doesn't that's usually signs of, of a concussion plus probably something more going on okay so dilate being they get dilate means they wider? get bigger contract means they get smaller right okay so if uh... they look into the light they should get smaller correct okay well parker if i tilt this lamp up a little so you can Look at the bulb in a few seconds. Can you just look, look that way, and I'll look into your eyes. Sounds like some kind of fanfic shit. Some what? Uh. <coughs> also glad your husband's not here right now. Yep. Okay. I, look, I don't mean it in any kind of. Okay. No, 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 no. Andrew is my one and only, and I would never, ever, 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 ever do anything with anyone else ever. <laughs> I just the way you said it, it sounded weird. Oh, looks good. Okay. They All right, then she probably does not have it. They both kind of did okay. it at the same time. I'm great. Right, okay. I feel great. Good. I just no, am a little you're bloodied up. Clearly not Go. feeling great, great. But would you? Can we give her something no, for the pain? No, you know, the thing that I feel worst about is the get fact a... that I let wolves get the best of me. <laughs> uh, go ahead and get a vital check on her just to see if uh, she needs any fluids or anything like that. Okay. And while he's doing that, I begin to suture with silver thread. Because uh, two of these kind of look deep, but not too deep. Just need some sutures to... Yeah, and plus, if they were werewolves, um, you'll be okay. Yes. Werewolves. Huh? Andrew's kind of a werewolf. Didn't need to know. So, Didn't need to know. Okay, all right. And for the record, though, keeping that on the notes. Yep. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to check your wrist here so I can check your pulse. And while he's doing that, I'm going to check and make sure these sutures are holding. Hey, buddy, we were just talking about Carl. Huh? Don't suppose what? you fancy waking up again, do you? I'm just checking to make sure these sutures are holding. Oh! I'm checking your pulse and your breathing just to make sure it's all normal. We'll see. You we were just complaining about the quality and mug shots you took. Going.
Seems pretty normal for Parker. Huh? I said your I'm a little out of it. Pulse and breathing seem normal for Parker, but yeah, you are kinda out of it. Sorry. Just a day. The mugshots of Lee and Jesse Sweet from last night. Did you take those? Someone complimented my outfit today. It's nice. Ooh. Huh? I said that's nice. Who? I don't know. Oh, just a random passerby. No, they're terrible. You took one where the guy had his hand covering his face. And you took another where the guy had the cell bars covering his face. Okay. Now I'm going to apply some salve, and now I'm going to wrap that with a bandage. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I was writing some notes there. Um... I mean, she's... Her vitals seem wise? normal for Parker, and she seems pretty normal. I mean, she's spacing in and out, but that's kind of just a Parker okay. thing. Yeah. Uh, uh does she me, want anything for the pain? Uh, but would either of you I'm be okay. I can have a little survey? pain. I can give you a moment. I rode Good all the pain. way here. I think I'm okay. Oh, Did you like some right. aspirin uh, or something for the painkiller? No. Okay. I'll just all live right. off of the woods. Sorry, what? Tie off that bandage right there. And there you go. I mean, you just take it again and again until you get a good one. <laughs> Your first bad pictures happen to be the ones that Ty and Ruben... Uh wanted to look at the most my mm, i really am out of it i am so sorry you're fine you're, you're all right fine. you're okay we're, we're just as long as you're not just... out of it that we need to be concerned about uh... all right i'm just checking over the work here making sure everything is good it's all looking good to me i'm a test all right it. You are. I'm gonna turn into a rat next. Or a wolf. Dun, dun, dun. I don't know. If I was a wolf, I'd be a pretty hot one. Hmm. So would I. <laughs> I need to wash my hands. <laughs> <laughs> I'd just be an average looking wolf. You know, just generic. I made the top ten hottest marshals. Oh! So like the auctions or congratulations. The or the showings. Con congratulations. I don't know if it's like congratulations, honestly. Well, wait a second. Wait, wait. Hold on. No, the quick I question. The, the, the real question is, how many? Wait, how many marshals are there total? Uh, All right. Uh, next question. I don't know. Uh, what event? Enough that making the list mattered. Apparently. Oh, okay. Because I was well, I was gonna say if it's like you, you know if there's like twelve marshals, it'd be like, eh, well, I feel really bad for the two that didn't make the list. <laughs> but if it's you oh, know, you mean me and Ruben? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. yeah oh. Not just it's you. Right. Andrew wasn't on the list. Yeah. No. There's more than twelve. It's okay. Thorn isn't on the list. Clark isn't on the list. Clark's not so on the list. Like, uh, Wait, Thorn? Oh yeah, Remy. Yeah, Shit. To... She's a marshal marshal uh... now. Stronger. Armstrong's not on the list. Anson's not on the list. Oh, they're on a different list. Armstrong and Anson. I've heard what from list? the list writer herself. What list are they on? The I worst. asked why I was on the list, and they're like, they're like, they're on oh, the you're shit hot, list. Parker. And I'm like, but I'm not hot. I'm like fucking average. I mean, you snagged yourself a husband, a nice life. Can't be that bad. Okay. Okay, right, no. Question, Why does that- uh, I don't think looks have anything to do with that one. I'm teasing, Barker. I think Andrew and I just get on very well. I think so. And I think Except we were- Except when he abandons you for wolves. I think we work really well, and we got married so people would fucking shut up about it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Yeah, it's for legal reasons. It's a marriage of 
it? Financial convenience. convenience. Transactional. <laughs> transactional. That's right. Yes, it is transactional. We do love each other, though. So there's that too. Mm hmm Yes. But no, a lot. My main reason for marrying Andrew, besides the fact that I love him, was despite everyone else. <laughs> It was you so you what? weren't in I, that the is great. so you that could is be so in the great. married part of the Marshall trifecta, right? Marshalls, according to Clover, are either married, sad, or gay. Well, I'm sad, married, and gay. <laughs> there you go. Well, you got the full set. <laughs> All right. So uh, next question. Uh, yeah, exactly. I'm. I'm. You I'm, had to get married so it? you could collect the full set. Beyond well, every, be that one Marshall right in the middle there. I've said it so many fucking times to you, Tyrell. I kept telling people because they kept asking us when we're fucking getting married that I was going to get married out of spite. Yeah, I know. And I did it. You did. And love, remember. And love. Well, yeah. Okay. I wouldn't actually marry someone uh, if I didn't right, love so them. Then, uh, the we obviously reasons, love uh, one another too, and I have to change my name for them. Yeah, but... Which meant my telegram had to change. Yeah. Oh, your, your telegram number did change? It did. Yes, I thought I sent you a telegram, but if I didn't, I can give you mine now. Yeah, hold on. Give me a little grab my notebook It was here. very unfortunate, because I liked my old one. 34215 was so easy. No, you're fine, dude. You're fine. We're just okay, what trying is to now? track down a couple of it criminals. It is 7976. And we're like, oh, four. they may have been arrested in Rhodes. So we came to have a look, oh, and they just weren't there. Like, the mugshots are there, but we just couldn't three, tell four, if they were who we were looking for. Which is probably three, fairly four, two, one, fair for the times. Mm -hmm. But now I go by Parker, Barker, Shepherd. Wait, you added Barker to your name? No. Oh, okay. But Barker. You could have. You had a chance. Shepherd. You could have given yourself I had a middle a chance, name. But I'm not doing it again. I already have a middle name. Okay. It's uh, Leah. That's a really good point, though. Not just standing there. Uh, so now you are then, Parker uh, Leah Shepard. Of the events that you've gone through, what's something Parker Shepard doesn't included? sound good, and neither does Andrew Kennedy, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I wanted to get rid of Kennedy. Yeah, you kind of hated that. Yeah, because it... And you also used to yell at people that would try and call you Marshall Kennedy. Yes, because it's... I loved when you managed to get it on the poster and could officially tell people it is Marshall Parker. It says so on the poster. You know, Anson asked me if I wanted to transfer to Le Moyne today. And? And I thought it was the funniest fucking thing because I said, oh, Armstrong would not be happy with that one. <laughs> I would probably I do it just out of spite because I think it would I be tried. hilarious. We butt heads so bad. Same with Anson and I. And I said that to Anson. I said, you and I, I don't think we've worked very good together. We don't get on that well. And he's like, that's exactly why I think you would be good here. All right. Well, thank you, gentlemen. Sorry to interrupt your conversation. Fair. Someone that could argue was Armstrong and Anson that isn't me. All right. I hope you have a good rest of your night. I'm pretty fucking stubborn when it comes to Armstrong. He, I don't, like, I don't hate Armstrong, well, but if you... It preach that you deserve respect from everyone and you hold it over their heads but you don't give that respect back i will not give it back ever Seems good fair. good that's how it should i be. will stand valid. my ground and i do and i think that's why he hates me i don't think he hates you i think i think he hates me <clears throat> i don't think he can stand me oh, Where, can you stick up for yourself he kept calling so <laughs> please don't repeat this because it's kind nope. of in the past now, and he has apologized since. But he kept calling me Kennedy, Marshall Kennedy. I had gotten on it on the part, the posters as Parker for a reason. <laughs> and I had had a conversation with him because he had asked me why, why I hated it, and I told him. And then I I went into Saint Denis one day, and he's like Marshall Kennedy, and I said if you keep calling me Marshall Kennedy, I'm gonna refer to you as Archie. <laughs> he okay. did not like that. <laughs> So he followed me, and he was like, excuse me, Deputy Marshal? And he, like, you know, was, you can't talk to me like that. I'm your superior thing, right? And I was like, whatever. And I said, okay, well, if you keep calling me that, I have all the right in the world to call you this. <laughs> and uh, eventually, like, he stood down. I did not 
like he's like well i don't understand it's your name and i was like we already had this conversation and if you don't remember it and you don't think it's important enough i'm not having it with you again mm. and uh yeah i don't know he did apologize after but Someone got their Lemoyne posters redone, and they crossed out Armstrong and put Archie on them, and it was not I, me. Yep, no, I, I, I saw those. <laughs> I did not do that, but it be, it came from that. That's funny. That's fucking funny. So, you know, uh, though, good for you for standing up for, you, for yourself, you know? I wonder who was do. listening in on that conversation. Armstrong, Armstrong is also, well, to be fair, I did reach out to certain people, and I said, hey, just so you know, I did sass armstrong because i figured it was going to come back and bite me in the ass um and i'm pretty honest about the things i do do if i do something that's considered wrong um so i think that's kind of why but uh no it, like there were other stuff too when i used to work in blackwater like he was always on my case and i i've always kind of stood my ground with him with most people even you ty yeah absolutely quite the attitude but everyone thinks I'm so nice <laughs> it's a way to, way to fool them you know get, get them off guard when you show them you know hey I can I can give it give I'm it back nice as, until as I'm well. not oh, exactly exactly you really have to piss me off but, mm -hmm. and then run anyway thank you for fixing me up I gotta check my telegram so. be safe I'm not right, going to be safe because I'm going to hunt someone. Oh. What? I'm going to get killed. What, what? the fuck? And if what? I die... Give Andrew everything? Well, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, we've, we've decided that if you don't follow the correct death procedure, then you have to come back and die again. If Bad you luck. Okay. Is this the correct death procedure? It's over I there, don't... on the poster. Well, go well, check right before you go die. Oh my god. Well, no, this, this is actually the procedures for if you come across a dead body, or, you know. Okay, well, if I die and there's a funeral, because I don't want one, but there is one, everyone swear colors and make animal noises, and if you don't, I will smite you all. Okay. All right, have fun dying. Thanks. Where's my horse? Oh, well, there she is. How'd you get over there? She was watching you through the window. She was worried about you. Oh. You're going okay. to telegrams. Can I come with? Sure. I'm on a compulsory buddy system. I have some work to do. <laughs> oh, actual work? No, kind of. What you got on? I have promised to keep. I'm not telling you what I'm doing. I was gonna say, can I ask at least roughly where you're going in case we have to look for a body after a couple of days? I have no idea where I'm going, so I can't even give you an answer. Don't you be a fucking little dick whore, okay? You're a good girl. A good girl. I love you. Aww. I will be fine. I'm always fine. You're always fine. Of the day you're not, that's but that's not today, right? No, I wouldn't die without Andrew being around. That's what love is, I guess. I have something to live for, Ty, and I'm not about to give it up. I know. I'm sure I will see you later. Telegram me if you need anything. Yeah.
I'm still trying not to work, so be safe. Well, telegramming me if you need something doesn't mean work. Nothing exciting. Mm. Where's that? Oh, I just went to check telegrams, but there was nothing exciting. Oh, okay. Okay. Wasn't. okay. Who is that? I don't know. I was just gonna ask. Who's the guy with the red vest? Is that Ezra? Ezra doesn't have a beard, does he? Oh, I don't think he does. No, Ezra doesn't have a beard. Are they wearing a yeah, deputy no, badge or a marshal badge? I can't tell from I here. Know. I kind of want to binocularize them, but I'm not gonna. Should I? Should I just go pull out my binoculars and look? <laughs> you could just see across the street. Who the hell are you? Yeah, hey, who are you? <laughs> who are you, and why are you in my town? Yeah, what are you doing in my town, boy? We don't need to do a paperwork for Parker's little incident there, no, do we? No, no. No, I mean, if, if it was ex real extreme extensive damage, um, mm -hmm. that would have to be possibly taken care of later, <clears throat> or looked up and followed up with, yes. But mm -hmm. animal bites, no. Nah, animal bites are really just a... Fair it's enough. Worrisome. Howdy! Howdy. Let's go over, uh, no pulse. Take uh, everything in their one. pockets. Yes, that, and then, you know, uh, <laughs> I mean, to uh, check for so, ID, uh, of course. Well, yeah, well, y yes, yes, actually, uh, I have had to do that numerous times to figure out who the fuck it was that just died. Um, if you're ever working on somebody... And, uh, there is no, the, at some point in time, there comes to be no pulse. You need to do everything in your power to try and get that pulse going again. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is, uh, inject musk. Uh, and, uh, try to get that pulse going again. You inject the musk, you try to keep working on what you can. Um, start chest compressions if there's another person around. Uh, if, if you're by yourself, you know, do the chest compressions, but the, the main goal is to try and get that heart going again. Now, that being said, sometimes you'll be working, you'll get a little bit of pulse, but then it'll go away again. Um, so, uh, check a second time. If there's still no pulse, uh, go ahead and try injecting them with, uh, you can use, uh, uh, atropine or digitalis. Continue chest compressions. I try. I usually try to go in the rule of three. When I go to check a pulse for the third time, I will say, "I'm going to check the pulse again. If there is no pulse, I'm going to call time of death." The important thing about that is, as long as there's a pulse, you keep trying and you keep doing everything you can. Okay. Yep. Um, that's that's the one big thing that I, I have experienced in my time where somebody had a very low pulse for a very long time and we were just trying everything we could to get it going again and trying to figure out any, you know, to get it uh, to figure out how we could get the uh, the vitals to stabilize again. Oh, no, There's a whole process, but, you know, the mm. thing 
is you just you gotta keep trying. You have to go through all, you know, exhaust all avenues, do everything you can in your power. But again, the the very important thing is just just because you get no pulse one time, don't call it. Um, because you know sometimes yeah. it just it just gets really dramatic, and uh, people still have some fight to give. And what's the other medication? Nitrate of ammo. This is something Mercer mentioned. When Wait, what was that? I'm sorry. I'm nitrate of ammo. Nitrate of a meal. Yeah, you a can meal, try. You sorry, can use that as meal. well. When do you use? Yeah. The, when would you choose between musk and a meal? Uh, you always want to start with musk. Okay. Um, that is going to be the most powerful thing to use. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, nitrate of a meal you can use more uh, so if the pulse is very weak. But to try and get that pulse going after it's stopped, uh, use the musk and then try the atropine. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. You know, and of course, it's, it's if you have that stuff in in the office, you know, or wherever you're at. Yeah, they're not but the kind musk, of things we'd carry in a field medic kit, right? Uh, the musk you might want to carry some of that. Okay. Just for that that situation, you know, at least try and get it going enough to to where you can get them to another an office to mm -hmm. do what you got to do. But the important part though is you try. Yeah. You try what you can, and you do the check the pulse at least, at the very least, three times. Mm -hmm. And you say, if I don't get a pulse on this one, I'm going to call time of death. Because I've had people that have, you know, no pulse, so I keep trying, keep trying. And then, you know, uh, no pulse again, keep trying, keep trying. And then, it, then you know, again, they have a little bit of life left in them, so, and, and, and that pulse comes back. And, uh, you keep going from there. But it's, it's very important that, you know, you, you just, you let it be known that you're gonna call time of death. Be real vocal about that part, huh? Mm-hmm. 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 Howdy. Hey, Taro. Do you remember... When you find all those paintings in the place in Saint Denis, by the telegram station, on the roof. Yeah, I do. Do you remember the telegram number? Wait, is that, that was Eli? Left on the wall? That yeah. was yeah. Jesus. Okay. What? Oh, we were looking at you across the street there when you were talking to Ruben, and we were trying to see who the fuck is that, and we were debating whether we look at you with binoculars or we just yell at you. You think he was someone I arrested because he walked out sheriff's office? Well, no, not entirely, because I could see a badge, I just couldn't tell what kind of badge, and you did let him walk out with a rifle on. So, I thought well, maybe I a deputy badge. had woken up in the sheriff's <laughs> office, and you didn't just been talking to them, but... Uh, what do you want to know? Should we talk over the there? Telegram? Do we need to talk over there? Uh, I mean, I don't mind. It's up to Eli, it's uh, well, his thing. Let's go to your thing. I mean, I'm looking for a name, not a PM number. I mean, I, I can telegram that number and see if it's him. Okay. Who? So, um, tell him what, tell Tara what you have, Eli. I was down in Tumbleweed the other day, and I meant to telegram Ruben here, but I've had a week, so I kept forgetting. And I got approached by Wiz and Lee and the Sheriff, and they talked to me for a long time about how marshals are bad. That I, I'm, I'm summing it up. And okay. uh, I went to Armadillo, and Lee followed me there, and I thought he was going to try and do something, because he remembered who I was, and we talked for about an hour. He was asking me questions about Rat and Kincaid and a lot of stuff, and then he gave me... I asked him if I could reach out to him to try and get his telegram number, and maybe I could get him when you have a warrant, and he gave me a riddle... And uh, we're thinking that that, that uh, the telegram number you found over there is the solution to it. What was the riddle? It's really long. Let me read this off. I haven't been Hi, able to make sense of it. Do you want to have some fun? Hand me a copy of it. Yeah, well, that's it off. too bad for he you. He said last year. The devil came for a visit and engaged in all sorts of revelry. By the end of it, if you wanted to give him a call, he left his number. Hmm. 
And during our conversation, he called Kincaid a devil and a puppet master multiple times. And then Ruben told me that there was drawings of There's someone. paintings found in the building. They were yeah, they referenced devil. the puppet master and they looked devilish. Yeah, that's what, you know, I guess clicked me onto that. I mean, one was definitely Kincaid, missing an eye and everything. Blood flowing out like a river. Uh, I think it was just two, two, one, two, three, wasn't it? Let me have a look. I'm not sure. Also, another note on that conversation is Wiz does really not like Armstrong or you still. Hello. Howdy. I have Hello. a cold. Huh? Who is that? Is that? That's Paul. Paul? Yeah, he introduced himself to uh, me and Clark down at the telegram station. He right said his name is Paul. Paul who? Just a Paul. It was either Paul, Paul, or Paul. Not Paul Beckett, right? No idea. I don't know. He just said Donnie's old right. Gambit friend. He was riding with Everett and uh, the other. I can't remember. I don't know. I. Uh, and a, another lady. I'm not sure. It wasn't Olive though. I didn't match the description of that Paul Beckett though. Cause didn't he have long black hair like Sasha? I have no idea, I never met the Gambit. Oh, I'm not sure if you're aware by the way, but Anson got an order from Dumont. Uh, Sasha is on top priority. We need to bring him in where's one. Uh, I don't recall anything about his hair, but the old description that I think I probably gave to Hanlon was uh, about an eye patch, his mutton chops, and he used to wear a bowler hat. And he wore okay. I mean, dark I, green I, I clothing I like that. I've seen him myself, I just... I saw him once. Told her this, just told her name in the description, to be honest. I don't remember anything about long hair, but maybe... I don't know. I mean, that was a description I had in Valentine's. Hmm. As far as I know, him and Chuck are both dead. And buried in New Austin somewhere. That's what Donnie was saying, anyway. Yeah, and then at one point he said they weren't dead. That the Gambit just yeah. left. And they faked being dead yeah. for a while. I don't know. I mean, I, I think I feel the same as what Hanlon said. Was, uh, you know, if he didn't see a body, you know, you can't believe it. But, uh, again, hope, I mean, yeah, it would be nice, you know, to bring them in for all the pain they cause to others. You aren't as clever as you think. For a game of wits, telegram me. Two two one two three. Okay, so I was off completely with my answer then. So Eli's riddle. What was your answer? Uh ninety-five six six six. Ninety-five being, you know, last year. Mm. And then the six is being the devil's number. Uh, kind of makes are, sense. Whereas what, you know, I guess some people say it is. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's the number that was left in the paintings. 
Okay. I mean, I can try and reach out and see. Does anyone have Kincaid's system. number? This was after Kincaid was dead, though. Uh, I mean, do you think he, he could just be doing it anyway, putting Kincaid's up there? Maybe. Or even Rats. Is that Rats' number? That's not Rats. Okay. It seems so familiar, but I couldn't remember why. I never did try and telegram it, though. Hmm, could be worth a shot. Let's see. He did also say to me in that conversation that Lee wasn't his real name. And then I was looking at that mugshot over there, but that is the worst mugshot I've ever seen. Yep. Yep. Carl did not do good on those. We love you, though, Tarion. I think it's him. It, it looks pretty... I mean, I've seen Lee as well, face-to-face -face in saint -Denis when Kincaid was being treated that day. He was standing outside the door, stopping people from entering. Do you I remember that blonde that or brown thing. hair? I would have said blonde, but... That could be a trick of the light in the doctor's office. It, you never it's know. Possible. But... I mean, I guess some darker blondes, you know, you can mistake. Mm. I talked to him for a while in Armadillo, and I, I'm pretty sure it's brown, like not dark brown. But I don't know. Maybe I maybe it's dirty blonde, and I was just not looking at it, right? Hmm. It's hard I'm to say. Too, yeah. I mean, I've had two descriptions from one from Stella and the record on him in there, and he has brown hair. Both descriptions. And uh, Jesse is the one with the blonde hair. And that was uh, two separate uh, incidents as well. So yeah, it could just be what Tyrell said, the, the lighting, maybe. We know who got his ID yesterday because we can see if the tug number matches up with the one down there. Yeah, then you need to have a proper name for that warrant. Unless it's just not him, him, though, that's the problem. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna go telegram that number and just see what response I get. Hmm, because he seemed interested in wanting to talk to me again, but I don't really want to. He started off the conversation by saying, how is the hole in your chest? Just be I careful. Do. I have another unrelated question. You know, uh, the day when Liam was brought in? Oh, I recall. About DeAndre reaching out to him? Eli? Yeah. I was just wondering, how did, uh, I guess, did Liam find out it was DeAndre? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, apparently, he just came into Valentine and was asking a whole bunch of people, and I heard about it. Oh, okay. Because, yeah, DeAndre was telegramming him under an alias to uh, try and draw him out. Oh, okay. I was just going to tell DeAndre a few places he might go hide, and then y'all found okay. him. What was your list going to be? Uh, a few of the houses up near Ansberg. Around uh, New Austin. I spoke with Sky the day before and we checked mm. Wapiti and Moonstone. And well, it was... we were also told Benedict Point, so we rode out west that day as well. Oh, yeah. Well, no, I found him just in that house south of uh, Van Horn. That's where they were huh. coming and going. Uh, that was, but I'll be honest, that was my next call, was somewhere up in Roanoke. We went. Through Van Horn, Irina and I, we doubled back from there to go up to Annisburg. Up in Annisburg, we picked up a trail. Uh, Prince was basically heading south again toward Van Horn. To, was that related to them, or was it another thing? Because I know Rook had some dynamite stolen from his mind. This was before the dynamite got stolen, I think, but maybe not. Because okay. they led us straight to the house, the, southern, the house south of Van Horn. But kind of a roundabout way. They tried to cut into the forest, okay. and then they looped back to the house. And we, Irina and I literally just finished circling the house, and the two of them rode by. 
So we took off after him. And caught up. They tried to double around through Van Horn, but I think they kind of forgot that their horses weren't going to go fast through Van Horn. So they probably were kicking them and just getting nowhere. So by the time we got out of Van Horn and they cut towards Butcher's Creek and then up towards the Lacey and Pools, their horses were fucking done. They had nothing left. Meanwhile, Irina and I were could have kept chasing for hours. Yes, that explains why Parker's horse was very tired. By the way, has anyone been to get that horse back? Uh, yeah, Rook was. Rook said he went up there and found her horse, and I said, uh, "Put it, bring it back to your town, or put it at the stable." Yeah. Okay. He said he's gonna go out there when the sun goes up and look for Liam too. Okay. But uh, yeah, I, I, if he I wants to bring hers down yeah. here, I can take care of it. Uh, just let him know. She's talking to him. Uh, this was the day it happened though. Okay. When you were being treated, he went out there and got her horse and brought it oh, back. I'm just glad someone did. So it's either in Ansberg or the Van Horn Stables is where I told him to take it. Fair enough. It's fine. we saying. I didn't even know Parker was with him until I heard they got shot. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, Eli. It's not your fault. From what I understand, Liam shot first. Yeah, from about this far away, right in my back. I, I walked into that sheriff's office preparing to scream at him, and when I walked in there and saw how messed up he was, I just couldn't. He's lucky I was messed up, or I would have come in there and just beaten the hell out of him. As far as I'm concerned, yeah. he as good as put that gun to fucking Parker's head and pulled the trigger himself. I don't think he could have made Parker leave, even if he... He could have sure chosen to come to. in, Eli. It, he had the choice yeah. to come in peacefully. We were going to escort him to the fort. Before his we weren't even well. going to take him to Sisica. He chose to pull iron on four people, trained to kill. We, I mean, the only thing we asked him was, you know, we wanted to take his weapons before the escort. I just asked for Marshall his guns, custody, but at that point, even before I asked for his guns, he had no intent of giving them. He knew what he was doing. Yep. I mean, when we rode up on them, he had both his guns pointed. At he was room. aiming them at me, Eli. Both his revolvers at my head. You should have no sympathy for that man, even though he is your brother. He's the reason also, Parker's laying in there right now. Sending telegrams to Clem is why he has... No, he's not turning himself in. He's evading the law. That's what he was saying. Yeah, I know. I was telegramming him to turn himself in as well. Yeah. Well, instead he got Parker shot in the head. She might not wake up, Eli. I know. And that's all on him. He knew she wasn't going to walk away. He knew that she knew he was going to draw. All he had to do was come in. Trust us. Trust me, trust you, trust Clem. That we wouldn't let him rot in Sisica for life. But, he's a fucking coward. And he couldn't stand up to that. So now she's laying there. Has she made any progress? No. No, she hasn't. Just lucky she's alive. Some fucking miracle. Don't ask me yeah. how. I didn't even... I didn't know how bad she was hurt until Drummond walked out and said that's the second time he's done brain surgery. Mm-hmm.
he should have just came and talked to us. From what it sounds like, is he, he even knew he had the warrant before we got it. And if he told us before he we knew. had it, we could have helped him. He knew. Yeah, I mean, the warrants are public knowledge, you know, but uh, he packed up and left the day the warrant went out. He knew before it came, he was just waiting till it got here. Yeah, and if he told us before it got here, we could have helped him. Yeah. None of this would have fucking happened. Yeah. You're not wrong, Eli. But he's a fucking coward. And now we're, we're living the consequences of his bullshit. I know. I just... I guess I just feel sorry for him, honestly. I... I was getting ready to walk into that office and scream at him, call him an idiot, all that stuff, and I just couldn't. Well, he's lucky he's got you then, because I swear to God, if I ever see his face again, I'm beating it till it's a, just a bloody mess. He's not worth losing your badge over. I don't fucking care. Parker, like, if she never wakes up, Eli... I don't even care about my badge. I am going to beat him so bad. I can't say I blame you. I don't even... The rest of the family's all trying to go visit him tomorrow. I don't even want to go. I just... I guess I haven't been able to tell them that. They put in a form? Yeah, he got it signed and everything. Who? Who's going? Vela, Vela, Sky, Zofia, I think that's it. I think May as well. How many people can go on a visitation? I don't think that many people can go at once, can they? Crenshaw said that he, they could if they had two marshals that took him. Jesus, that's a lot two? of people. For that... four? I mean, I took Bear, Joey, and John Mark last night. How many did, did you, you take have Sunday with you? too? It, no. Okay. It was, um, originally it was me, Mercer, and Clem we were supposed to go over, but, uh, obviously Clem couldn't go and me and Mercer went over. I think two for four would be fine. I mean, I mean, Han said at least, you know, you, you can go with just you, but, you know, yeah, I admit at least that's another deputy marshal. Yeah. And I can't be part of one of the marshals to help them out. I don't even know if I want to go visit him. I will not be going to visit. Not unless he's getting strung up in the box or something. Howdy. Howdy. Do you know what time their visitation is? Oh, I don't know. Is that Crenshaw? Yeah, it was Crenshaw. Yeah. I don't think he noticed me. I was getting ready for him to yell at me. Hmm. Oh. Oh, maybe he's noticed us. Oh, no. Nope. He's just trying to figure out where he is. He's lost. He doesn't know he's in Rhodes. Yes, you are in Rhodes. Does Clem know about Parker? I haven't seen her. Yeah, I, I told her yesterday and we came down together to see her. She's just laying in there if you want to go talk to her. Howdy. Hello. Why'd you just call me Locke? I know your name. You, you, you always just say Eli. It feels weird. I can't even hear him. No, I'm fine. Uh, 
Uh, probably like another half hour. Wait, Crenshaw, when you when you in Rhodes last night? Were you here when they arrested uh, Jesse Sweet and Lee? Was that the same Lee as the docks? Can you speak up a bit, Crenshaw? Or come closer? Uh, I have a warrant written on him for hey, me stuff. Me, then. Uh, not yet, no. I'm. Uh, meet him with King on it. Oh, what? Hello. Howdy. Sorry, I could not hear a word you were saying. I didn't even know you were there. That's probably why then. I didn't exist. No, see. I can see Thursday now. Yeah. Just, yeah. Hello. Howdy, oh, Valentine Law. Howdy. Do you right, we'll either back. of you three want to... Don't do that. Do either of you three want to come have fun? Ooh. I like fun. fun. Is it going to hurt, though? Fun. Or it's not going to hurt, no. They're from the Valentine Telegram station. Okay. Huh? Okay. Uh... Okay. What was the answer to the questions about Lee? Was it the same Lee? Can we just... I gotta get up there, so when I grab horses, we talk on the way. Okay. Okay. I think everyone said yes, so... This isn't work fun, right? This is just fun fun? Yeah, fun fun. Okay. In the mouth dance on work fun. Work is always fun. That's what I mean. Some people would just say work is fun, so we're working. But, you know, I'm not working today. Not, not That's working. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. Where's Ruben? I mean, I did get shot, so, you know, that's he what I probably deserved it. This time, I did not. Oh, what'd you do? Tried to arrest Liam. Liam? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, he was turning himself in, wasn't he? So, kind of. No. No, he wasn't. I thought he was planning to turn himself in. Nope. No intention of. He was running. Well then, yeah, okay, it's fair. We thought he was coming in peaceful like, but instead he decided to try and shoot it out. At the last possible moment. After all the talking was done. Did you hear Anson got hit by a train? I did. I uh, did. We also arrested that guy after, but we didn't know to arrest him for aggravated assault with a train. No, no that's... Well, I'm arrested him for that, and then the second arrest was because he stole the same train again. Yeah. And you pulled a machete on me. I feel like that should be attempted murder. Eh, he didn't actually get much chance to swing it. No, no, I meant the train. Oh, yeah, the train. Was it Dark Unless or? Anson just stepped in front of a train, in which case that was his own stupidity. <laughs> what is Anson? I'm too late, but... mm. I have no comment. Okay, so you arrested someone unjustly. I hope he brings that to court. Now, speaking of Anson, do any of you uh, uh, know what your boss wants me to talk to me about? Just telegram uh, me that we need to yeah. talk. It's personal. Oh god, I don't want to talk to Ant about personal stuff. Yeah, that'd be awkward, personal stuff. He said the last time he spoke with you, he kind of went off on you and you wanted to take more so. 
I want to apologize, but I guess I'm not coming from here. Huh. Telegram me and asked if everything was okay. Everything was okay? He asked me if everything was okay. He was like, are you alright? I'm like, yeah. Would I not be? My oh, voice list is on fire. It's a piece of shit. I mean, after the mayor shot me, I haven't really been there too much, so it could very well be. No. Sorry. The mayor I shot me. Stay away from Blackwater. The anti martial mayor. Is that what he calls himself? Or does someone call him that? That's kind of the rumor that's going around. I mean, the fact that he has a known criminal as his chief of police. And Sam Panther as an officer. Yeah. Oh, I they mean, hired Sam? They did. Is that because Wyatt um, didn't get elected? Yeah. I just need a good mayor and chief in Blackwater and I'll be okay. Apparently he apologized for shooting me and all this stuff. He wants to start over, but he didn't say that to me. He hasn't been telling me so. I don't know why you're taking the road. Cut across the really nice grass right here. Sure, why not? I'm riding a horse, not a wagon or a train. Brief. Be free, Marshal Tyrell. I barely ever take the road, so on my days off, I okay. try and take roads sometimes, just for fun. Sure, I believe you. Hongs is the one that always takes the road, because there might be criminals on the road. I'm very well aware of Hans' travel habits, as well as his other habits. Enough. He's gotten a lot less prudish since he's met me, trust me. Hans is prudish? He was. Oh. Okay. And he is in some way. Oh! <laughs> that was a marsh test. Y'all passed. Y'all stopped and turned around just in time. <sighs> okay, sure. Uh, but say he can be prudish. Absolutely, he can. Depends on what it is. Sure. Why did you fight Tyrell? I have just overheard and been involved in conversation with Hans that would never have made me imagine he could be prudish. I've but also he's just a lot more comfortable now. I've also stood there while him and Nora tried to eat, prove who could eat more of a banana in one go. Oh, they sack it. Yeah. Brush your damn horse. I will. I'm gonna tell Anson to fire you, or suspend you for every day he catches you that your uh, horse being brushed. Oh no, the good news is, he's transferred me to Coulter. He doesn't have that power. <laughs> also, the culture's literally the culture in my, is in my, a jurisdiction. It is. It's my jurisdiction. It's a town. Yeah. It's in my jurisdiction. Yeah. Well, there are marshals who operate at a Coulter. Wiz is looking Mostly for me, so like. Dumont told Anson to send me to Coulter. I'm just going to Blackwater and all those there. I mean, I think the mayor. Hello. Hi. Oh, I have arrived oh. with with companions for fun. For fun? For fun. I didn't tell them someone, what kind of fun though. Someone threatened us with fun, so we're here. Oh my god, I wanna do fun so bad. I had like the worst headache for like two hours, so I like need to do fun. My headache's still happening. I need something to do. Oh. Jamie's gonna have a headache <laughs> after that. That horse should be shot. What are you fun so bad? 
swear to God, it sounded like you just said crime, Clover. Also that, too. yes. <laughs> I want to do crime so bad. <laughs> I haven't done a crime in life. You go on. Because I have a date in mind. Oh shit, was that a crime? No, threat any crime. Um... What did he say? Say in Vegas. Um... Is there crime? No. I think it's been like five weeks. <laughs> I don't think I've done a crime in over a month. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. You're now a complete reformed person. I am. Get her a marsh badge. I want one. Give me one. No. I just want the badge. I don't want the job. I know you do. You like shiny things, right? Oh, you gotta yes. have the job to have the badge. No, I just want the badge. I don't what want the job. At? Steal Bundy sometime. He says that he could get fired for that. He could. I know a place. But he knows a good like lawyer. things up? Mm-hmm. I know exactly what? what Hades is talking about. We've been there before. What am I getting fired for? Oh, for it, if you let me wear your badge, which you don't do. Ever. Never, ever. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Never. Never, ever. But mm -hmm. if you do get fired, you know a good lawyer, I was saying. Yes. If I get fired, you better danger. watch your fucking asses. <laughs> How deep. If I ever get fired, I'm just gonna go back to doing secrets. crimes. Back to? I haven't done crimes in over a month, I just said that. I never did crimes. He seemed like a nice guy, but I don't know if he go that far. Kensha? What'd you do to Crenshaw? I'll even let you do it. What the hell? What the yeah, fuck? Me next, me next, me next, me next. What was that? Is that dynamite? <laughs> oh my god, what happened? Me I next. heard all that noise. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. We saw you out Literally here. saw you, you out here and heard you out here, Crenshaw. What, what the fuck? I heard a loud noise. Jamie, can we go no, Jamie was, no, 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 Jamie was sending a telegram. I don't know what <laughs> you're talking about. I saw oh, him. Me. He ran right by me. Jamie, oh, yeah. I want to go do dynamite. Why is it Jamie? He was doing the telegram. What are you talking about? Howdy. I don't know, but I'm gonna go have fun. Anybody wants to come? We can. It's been so it's fun running into fun. Sunday around San Denis. In front of everyone? Yes. Oh, I wanna go have fun. Let's go have fun. Hobby fields? I like yes. how you use dynamite and just leave Hades out here to catch all that blame. That's not who, fair. Who used That's dynamite? No one I even blamed me. Allegedly, I know, but... if if allegedly I was there, allegedly I also would have told her to run with. Allegedly, I also have permission to accidentally explode things in Valentine. What you do? By the sheriff. Yeah, I wait. I need to re-ask. Roof I want. You have permission by me. I think I might have no. asked me already. I, I'll just re-ask her. You should ask Crane. He's easier to okay. get stuff from. I don't know. I'll just ask me. Can I go to the How you doing, stables? buddy? Yeah, we're going to the stables and we're going to go. How was your stream, Sprout? Do you want a horse? Really uh, we're going to the stables and we're going to go have fun. Okay. We may need a doctor for this kind of fun. We got Hans. Oh, damn. I don't know any. That's cool. I don't know any lawyers. Uh, trying to take a day off, but 
as a medic and a marshal, it's really hard to get time to just not do any kind of work. Watch out, buddy. Is hurt. Bagus, hurry up. Come on. Come on, Bagus. Bagus. Come on. Come on, here. Right. Hi, hello. All right. To the poppy fields. Clover, lead the way. Uh, I shouldn't do that. <laughs> Anyone but Clover who knows where they're going, lead the way. Is I'm Ruben not sure Haas who's not leading the way. Uh, I don't know. I, I mean, so. I don't know. Just go with it. I don't know where they went. They're at the sheriff's office, I think, or did they come up this way? Hey, there they are. Hey, you guys. Still realize that we're not following as fast. Uh, find out. So we were following Bundy, but I don't know where he went. Up this way. Everyone, the fun song. Going to have fun. Going to have fun. Going to have lots of fun. Yay! Yay! What's the, on the itinerary, Jamie? It's a secret. We're gonna do arson. I may or may not have a lot of pants and wood on the back of this horse, but uh, it's a surprise. Eli, Eli knows where he's going. Let's just follow Eli. Alright, Eli, bring us I know down. where I'm Poppins. going. Okay, never mind. Follow Eli. To, to, to the poppy fields. Poppy field. Oh, I know where that is. Oh, Perfect. Know. Follow Demont. Well, That's it. That's the uglier Mustang. Welcome to a Marshall Posse, where no one knows where we're going and we all just kind of run yep. into each other. Yeah, I see that. I see that. This is why one of the most <laughs> common injuries for Marshalls is running into your Posse Leader's horse. Uh, huh. Maybe you guys should practice? What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, what now? Look at them. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> that's, why do you think we're back here? Yeah. Here so I can take a picture with my mind of the chaos that unfolds in front of us. <laughs> oh my god, look at them. <laughs> Should I have stock pod bandages before them? I have a few, but... <laughs> this is my off-duty horse. I don't have that many. <laughs> you know how you asked about burns earlier? <laughs> We may get a chance to put that into practice. No. Okay. <laughs> All right. Apparently, we're going to have fun. Okay. Fun may or may not involve fire and dynamite. <laughs> Oh, 
this is gonna get shitty when it gets narrow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's so all kinds of fuck. Mm -hmm. I've watched Armstrong crash up here, and nobody was anywhere near him. Let alone the half a dozen of them trying to ride together. How was your jury trial? I hear you get to have a trial trial. Wait. Is starting to fire in a poppy field an opium concern? that where opium comes from? Yeah, but like... Does it need refining in all kinds of ways I first? I so. Okay. We're about to find out, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I would say this is not flat. This isn't that small. It's not flat. Okay. Is that flat enough to you? I'm gonna go over there and start sitting. Up. Jamie is over there. If he wanted, if he knew where he wanted to go. Yeah, I would say keep our horses over here. To be honest. Yep. Yeah, yeah that might. Yep. 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 Yeah. Especially the ones with medical supplies. I have some medical supplies. Okay, five bandages. That's great. That's just groovy. What's going mean, on? If, oh. I mean, I think if we have. Are to, they I chasing just... a moose? I don't know. If we have to, I can just find something to kill up here and cook it up really quick. So I can probably find supplies for a campfire. I think I have matches and donut too, so. I have matches. matches. Right. I smoke. I have to have matches. Ah. Uh, it's a curse. I guess we should go over there. Eh, I haven't heard screams yet. Just one gunshot. Uh. Howdy. Ah. Is it really howdy? Is it not howdy? Why is it not howdy? Wait, what's not howdy? No, oh, Hades asked, is it really howdy? Do you have- this might just be me, but I hate when people, like, ride past me and say howdy. Just keep going. Wow. They don't actually care. That's criminal, Hades. I know. Not saying howdy back is a federal offense. But why are they gonna say howdy and, like, not ask me how the day's going? Maybe I really wanted to talk to them, but they just kept riding past. Did they just step right and if I fire under Ruben's If ass? I turn around and I go after them, then they're gonna think, like, oh, <laughs> I'm chasing them. Well, you are chasing them to say hi. 
to talk to him more, right? Yeah. Are we camping? But yes. We're camping. Huh. Prepare for your new future. That seems like it's kind of fresh. Yep, yep, I'm, yep, I'm. Yep, I'm walking oh, away God. from that. Yep. What? I don't like the it. fuck? Yep, yep. Okay. Mm -mm. Okay. I deal with dead bodies, okay. and that's just. What? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wait, what is yep. it? What, 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 what? Oh, this right here? Oh, look, meat yeah. rocks. Oh, yeah. Huh. yeah. Guy, Jamie was a big meat rock guy. What? Why are there so many dead geese here? What the fuck happened? Hello, more meat. Who's singing the first song? Thank you for volunteering, Vegas. I don't sing. Unless, unless you like the sound of a cat in heat mixed with nails on a chalkboard. Oh my god, that- Oh yeah, give that to- <laughs> Nope. Hell no. Cat in heat, fuck yeah. See, I told you, it's fun. Hey, Jamie. It's facing the right way, it's just uh, having issues. Let me try it again. Next, they're her best friend. Someone's got to tell a scary story. And my sex life. <laughs> nice, got him. <laughs> he said a horror, Let's not a tragedy. Start tragic. off. <laughs> Get fucked. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. What yeah, the? Scene. Oh, you know what's odd? Yeah. See, I don't see Dumont sitting the right way. I think this, the, the logs. What the? F Nothing, nothing at all. I feel like half of our horses just got scared away. Oh, we're stuck Mine's here for the there. night, people. Mine's still up there. Yeah, they don't still up there. Actually, all of us who left him up on the mountain, they're all still there. We're good. I love you. Did you have fun? Oh my god. 
Because they had fun. There's two. There's another one on the other rock. There you go. There's one over there. <laughs> <laughs> acid. Is that all of it? I think that's all of it. Thank you. Should I take a nap? Um, I think that maybe you just something for it. It'll be fine. Because everyone else will be doing the right thing. Okay. Here. Let's try this. Alright, so we telling stories or what are we doing? Um, go ahead. I don't know. What kind of stories you want to tell? What kind of story do you guys want to hear? Something funny. Actually, yeah, it's been a while since we've had the hilarious tale. Okay. Alright. He's hopefully hilarious. not one. Hopefully not one where one someone hears the punchline. Okay, let me think about a different one then. Who are you about to tell one about? So, okay. Nope, I can't see that one either. Joe, can you tell a story okay. or not? Okay, okay, I got a, I got a story. Okay. okay. So, there's a moth, right? The moth goes into a, a, a foot doctor's office, right? Foot doctor, you know, sees the moth and goes, what's the problem, moth? The moth says, what's the problem? Well, what do you mean? Like, where do I begin? So the moth is like, I work for a guy named Gregory, and he works. I work so hard, and honestly, Doc, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. You know, Gregory, and then he says his name's uh, uh, Alinovich, which is going to be important later, right? Like, like he just, he, he, he has the power over me. Like, he makes me like happy. He makes me sad. He makes me all these things. He makes me upset. He makes me hungry. He makes me all these crazy thoughts, right? And I go here and I go there. And at night I wake up and I toss and I turn. And, and you know, uh, sometimes I look at my old lady in my bed. She's on my arm, and it's a, it's a lady I once loved, Doc. And I don't know what to do anymore. My youngest son, you know, like, like he just doesn't want to talk to me. Like my other child just, you know, just treats me like I'm not even here. Like, I don't know what to do. This is a hard pill to swallow, Doc. Like, things are just going wrong. The doctor's just sitting there, like, taking it all in. And he just keeps droning and droning about how terrible his life is. It's just so bad. And then the spider's coming, you know. And then on top of all that, he goes, the government. You know, like, all these taxes, they just keep beating me over the head. So the doctor intrudes. He goes, well, this or moth. You came to a foot doctor. I think you should go to a different type of doctor if you have all these problems. Like, why, why'd you come to the foot doctor? 
The moth gets very seldom and looks at me. You know what he says? What? Because you left the light on outside. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Okay, I got a scary story. So, you all know the iron works, right? So, hmm. uh, essentially, the way it goes is when uh, they were trying to get a bunch of iron going so they could help rebuild all the tracks and stuff that they you know, never really finished, the uh, iron works started pushing out more and more iron. And... They couldn't keep up, so the Ironworks decided to hire an old colonel who was retired for the job as the uh, head of the Ironworks. So, rumors started to spread around that he was so horrible and he was always screaming and yelling at his employees and pushing them so hard, essentially. It was like a slave labor. They never stopped moving, they couldn't take a break, nothing. And eventually, got the point one day where they had enough. So this old colonel, old Colonel Slag, they called him. He was famous for yelling at people, get back to work, you don't get a break. One day they were so fed up with it, they took Colonel Slag and they threw him into the furnace. And then they say, even to this day, you can hear him at night time going, get back to work, you lazy fuckers. So next time you go by the iron works, listen out. See so if you can hear him yelling at you to get back to work. That wasn't that funny. It wasn't funny. I thought it was supposed to be scary. If you believe in ghosts anyway, I don't. I believe in ghosts. I can retell the story that I told the other night. I don't think anybody here was there. Ty was. I don't, think, no was. Got it. I don't think anyone else was. If All right, I'm gonna story, tell. You should tell it. Yeah, I'm gonna tell it. So, you know, probably about seven, eight months ago, back before all the uh, new marshals came in the States, I had just gotten transferred here myself before I got the keys to my new position. I had a partner by the name of Eric. <laughs> And we would primarily patrol the swamps up to Ansburg and through Roanoke. Everyone here knows that old, weird, creepy house that's outside Van Horn, right? Mm -hmm. Well, one day, you know, Eric and I, we were, uh, we were patrolling and we saw what looked to be a bear car carcass. And uh, we rode up to it. It was right on that uh, the path that would lead into Van Horn past the lighthouse. We rode up to it. Now, usually in Roanoke, it ain't all that weird to see bear carcasses. But this one, the odd thing about it is it didn't have any paws. Somebody had just cut all four paws off, and that's it. Left the carcass there. So Eric and I went into Van Horn, and we asked, and the... The people that lived in Van Horn, although they weren't too happy to see us, very much were just like, nope, we didn't hear anything, didn't see anything. So we just dragged the carcass off the road, we went about our time. Well, about a week later, same patrol route, we found what looked to be a gator, same place. Now, a gator's a bit more odd that close to Van Horn, you know, they usually stay in the swamps. So somebody really had to drag it a decent way. And again, it was odd about this gator because it didn't have a tail. Someone had only taken the tail from it. We did the same thing. We asked the folks of Van Horn around and, you know, we, uh, they didn't see anything. So we dragged the gator off the road, went about our time. Now, though, this time, however, as we passed that old creepy house that's there, we could have sworn we heard a hiss. You know that sound those gators make when you get too close? I swore we heard that coming from the house, but didn't see it. I mean, this kept going on for a few weeks. A cougar one day. I think there was a bald eagle another. And every time, you know, the, the folks of Van Horn didn't hear or see anything, but we started going past that house as we left the, uh, 
left our Van Horn on these patrols, and we would keep hearing the sound of those animals coming out. <sighs> Finally, I got my keys and the new badge for the new position, and I didn't really think anything else about it. I was starting to get ready for the influx of new marshals that were transferring in, and Eric was doing it on his own until one day. Eric telegrammed me that he was going to go up in the Van Horn patrol, and I never heard from him. Went up there myself with uh, Vokley, and uh, nobody in Van Horn had seen him. I mean, they knew who he was, but they just didn't see him. About two nights later, I was in my office late, probably about one, two in the morning, and I heard what sounded like somebody calling my voice. So I left the office and I went up onto the walls and I could see just in the distance, just down there on where that fork in the road is, that four-way split, it looked to be Eric on his horse. Quickly got on my horse and I went to follow him and he always stayed just far enough away where I couldn't catch up to him, but I could just hear him. He led me down to that house outside of Van Horn and this time... I watched what I thought was him climbing to that open window, so I followed. Lying on the table there was Eric's body. However, it had a gator tail stitched into his uh, his back. It had what looked like cougar ears onto his head, where his, his ears were should have been, and various other animal parts. His, uh, his hands and feet were, were bear paws, and... That would look to be a, a, an eagle's beak. Things like that. So I, I ran back. I got a few more marshals, and we went that way. So we couldn't find who had done all this. And we got back to the house, and the body was gone. We searched for days and couldn't find anything. And I know what everyone's thinking. Whoever did that, you know, they just they saw us there and got the body out of the way and ran before we could catch them. That doesn't explain why every so often you can see bear prints. It looks like the drag mark of a gator's tail behind them up in Roanoke. Or the stories of people in Butcher's Creek and Ansburg that tell of this creature that seems to be a mixture of man and various beasts. I think the more of the story is that if somebody's cutting up animal carcasses in a weird way, you should probably be careful being in that area because you never know when you'll be the next part of their experiment. Bam! Doll. Oh, Jesus Christ. I think my story was good enough about the doll being thrown in my key. It added effect to it, Tom. One of these days, I'll tell you about my friend named Chris. Oh, yeah, go ahead. What's he like? A bit of a doofus. We were camping one night, and he tripped over a log and fell into the fire. Sounds like something somebody named Chris would do. Yeah. That's how I burned my coat. He, he, he lived, but I mean, he looks really weird now. Just like when he went down, he, he's not really burned or anything. Just when he went down, he like hit his lip on the rock too, and he has like really big lips that are like permanently swollen. And when he talks, he kind of talks like this. Yeah, that kind of sounds like someone named Chris. Yeah, it just does dumb things for no reason. Hades, you should tell a story. I bet you got great stories. No, I don't have any. I'm sure you do. I know you do. I don't. Liar. Are you shy? No. Liar. I don't have any. Uh -huh. Vegas, how about you since we got shy Hades? Since what? Hades is shy. Do you want to tell a story? Uh... Uh, all right, here's here's one that's kind of funny. Um, so back in Georgia, I uh, I met a 
uh, a really good friend. Uh, hey, Rishi ended up becoming a really good friend of mine. Um, there was uh, there was one night that we're, we're riding around and, and uh, I'd seen somebody on a donkey and I thought that was just the funniest fucking thing ever. So uh, she she decided, well, hey, we're gonna we're gonna get Vegas donkey. So, all right, cool. So we ride up, we we go and we we get the donkey, and she sits outside and she's sitting on my horse. And uh, I go inside, I, I get the donkey, I get it named. I'm I'm just super excited. I'm, I'm like, oh my god, this is great! Yeah, I got a donkey. I come hauling ass out of the uh, out of the out of the stable, not really paying attention, and I pretty much clothesline myself on my horse while on the back of the donkey. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, that was that was something. I once crashed a donkey so good that it ended up on top of a crate and I couldn't figure out how to get it down. <laughs> oh, speaking of close lining ourselves, never follow Parker's shortcuts if you're taller than her. Not, cause <laughs> she'll pass under the tree and you will just hit that branch and spin around like 20 times and hit the ground. Yeah, try riding on the back of her horse while taller than her. <laughs> Ooh, that reminds me. Um, if you ever see uh, little umbrellas at camps, uh, don't try and knock them over. Wait, why? Uh, yeah, I, I learned the hard way that um, the, the, it, it, it hurts. <laughs> I, uh, Donut and I went on a, on a uh, little adventure up in the air with that one. Oh! Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, d yeah, I, I don't recommend running trying to run over umbrellas. Fair enough. Hmm. Stories, stories. I don't really want to rehash an old one. Chai, do you have any? I even if do it's not. just like a even if it's just like a personal anecdote from something funny that happened, or self appreciating that happens on the job. <laughs> I think it springs to mind right now. I'll think on it. Hmm. Oh, Joe. Yeah. How about the tale of that uh, old lady that ran the muck in your old town? Oh God. I can't remember her name, but I think you remember all the details, yeah. <laughs> I don't remember her name either, but okay. So one day, I actually think you can ask even Zeke over the roads about this. I think he was my deputy back then. A couple people you may know might have been involved in this, but I don't remember everybody. We're in town, it's a pretty peaceful day, though we're dealing with a whole bunch of other, like, existential shit, you know? But nothing, nothing pressing in town. Woman comes to town, and she says, I want a husband. Mind you, she's 87 years old. So we're like, all right, go to the saloon and try to meet some people or something. She picks a guy. She's like, no, that's my husband. I was like, is that like a statement or a question? She gets all crazy with us. She's yelling and she's like, I want my husband. And steals an Arabian and runs full speed. <laughs> so we chase her. We grab her. We bring her back to town. So now... For those of you who don't like um, bodily things, uh, don't listen to this next part. We get her into the uh, sheriff's office, and we're like, all right, so whatever. We're, like, reading things off to her, and I turn to do the paperwork, and the rest of my deputies are also, like, you know, cooking her stuff and just trying to figure out, and, like, they're writing the little report and everything, and I'm doing the paper. We all were like a well-oiled machine. And I'm sitting there, and I'm asking her questions. She's like, she's like really out of breath. She's like, I'm like, what? What's your eye color? She's like, uh, blue. And I'm like, okay, what? Like, why? Like, she okay? But I'm like, whatever. I'm gonna write this paper out, and then I'll figure it out. So then I ask her, you know, I finish it up, and I'm sitting there, and I'm like, what the fuck is that? What the fuck? 
she just started like defecating all over the walls and then was picking it up and throwing it around God. so now we're like what the fuck do we do and she starts running around in the cell and like sliding around like she created a little like slide with the bed the whole time we're just like I, I don't we almost decided to let her do community service because we really like, this is she's more of a problem in there than she is out here. And she would come to town every three days, and she would just attack one of our deputies and say that she wanted to marry him. Every three days, she would come in and then try to steal an Arabian, and only steal an Arabian. Wait, really? It was only just Arabians? It's a good thing That's I didn't... That's it. Good thing it wasn't in my, like, Arabian <laughs> yep. kick at the time. She would only steal Arabians. Because one day, I literally put my horse out in front of her, and I was... At the time, I had a Turkmen. And she, uh... She wouldn't get on it. And said, what? I think her name was, like, May. And I was like, what? May, you're not gonna get on the, the Turkmen? She's like, no, it's beneath me. And then she ran full <laughs> speed and took an Arabian. <laughs> One time, she straight up tackled a guy while he was riding through town. Like, she jumped off a wagon and, like, clotheslined him with his with her body, knocked him off the horse, got on, and then <laughs> rode away. Dairy, dairy, dairy. I never remember the name. Has that doll always been there? And Jamie threw it. No. Oh. He was keeping it in his pants. I, I was just mentioning the doll. It's I, I There's literally sitting behind it. me. Clover's just dumb. <laughs> You're supposed to talk about the person when they're not right here. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> yeah, Clover's the smartest, best person in the entire world. <laughs> <laughs> and Jamie's okay. a real good marshal who is always in West Elizabeth. <laughs> hey man, I get shot when I go there. It's a bad idea. Oh, there you go. All right, who's telling the next story? I mean, I can tell a work-related one, but... Since it's I think Clover could have told a story. I was thinking about it, but then I keep thinking about, no, that's illegal. No, that's illegal. That was something illegal that you did. Wait, have you already, you know, uh... I've served never served time. time. No. Oh, okay, well, yeah, okay, no. No, I only we're all off. Ooh, never. No, I That's gotta go a lie. I gotta go yeah. one. And we're all off the clock, so. I've got a really good one then. I'm gonna tell the story about the time I got a felony. <laughs> so. That's a really oh, good story. Clover. Yeah. Yes. Clover, you should also tell the time of the story about that person that you know real, really well who likes to sit on the rooftops of Saint Denis and shoot guns off in there just to piss the blueberries off. No. What's her name again? Rover do. Mark. No, what what my friend Rover likes to do is sometimes, maybe once, allegedly, allegedly, she and her best friend, and um, and the best friend of uh, the marshal climbed up onto the rooftops in Saint Denis, and they were watching the marshals down in the street, right? And the marshals, I don't know, they were taking a statement or something, but it was annoying. They were taking too long, and. They were like being real like serious about it and such. Just standing there in the middle of the street. You can't just stand in the middle of the street in Sanctity. You're gonna get hit by a wagon. Especially if Clover's around. Mm -hmm. Then let them. So we were sitting there, we were watching, we were trying to figure out what they were saying. Obviously we couldn't figure it out. And somebody brought up the idea. They said, Damn, these new marshals out here in Lemoyne, because the marshals had just, you know, switched them out, Randall out. They don't know what the fuck they're doing in this city. They're not looking up. 
They need to be looking up more because there could be people up on these rooftops. And somebody got into their minds that they should shoot a gun into the air and see if they look up. Right? So somebody gets their gun out and shoots once into the air and the marshals scatter. And then somebody else got like real excited about it and then they shot once into the air. So now there's two gunshots in the city and the marshals are running, it's dark, and they're running through the alleyways, which isn't smart as we know. And so now she's thinking to herself, you know, this is a great learning experience. Let's let this, let's let this play out as a training exercise of sorts. So they all, um, they wait they, where they are. They're waiting, they're waiting, they're waiting. They're like, okay, they're going to find us, right? They're going to find us. Because eventually they're going to realize that if they can't find nobody right in that area, they must be up. So they're waiting. They're sitting there. They're not coming. So they come, they go down to the street level and they end up moving on over to the telegram. And one of the, the marshals runs up to them and they say, be careful. <laughs> there are gunshots. And so they're like, oh, Jesus Christ. So obviously, eventually, like, eh, you know, within like 24-ish hours, she does alert a marshal that no one was injured with the gunshots and they shouldn't have to worry about it because it was just a training exercise. <laughs> so, um, but I don't think... If I yeah. recall correctly, you, uh, you left the training exercise part out of, uh, why we shouldn't worry about it. Don't you mean Rover Marks? Rover oh, Marks Rover Marks, I mean. Yeah, yeah. It's a training exercise. Uh-huh. So what is a oh. rover's telegram number? I'd like to ask her for some training exercise ideas. You could just ask me. I know rover really good. Oh, no. I think that she and I should have the conversation face to face. <laughs> that way I can really dig in and, you know, see her facial expressions when uh, she's telling me. Uh -huh. She's really good at training exercises. <laughs> I hear that when uh, rover rides around in a wagon... Sometimes they put install trees right in front of her, so she hits them too. Yeah, and sometimes they're pedestrians. <laughs> or, but then she gets out and she makes sure the pedestrians are okay, which they almost always are. Almost. If they're not, she just finishes the job and walks away. No. Hey, at least you didn't then hit a blueberry. they shoot at her. I have never hit a blueberry. One time I almost did, and that was very scary. I have a secret trick for getting around the blueberries. What Tom knows it. You just pull your gun at point forward and go look. There he is. <laughs> go faster. <laughs> I knows all about blueberries, don't you, Ela? I have no well, idea. What I you're got a funny. About. I got a funny training exercise story. Where are you going, Ty? Ty's gonna miss the story when I talk about how he arrested me. Oh, I'm familiar with it. He was there. Mm -hmm. He was. Let's is that you? What the? Yeah. All right. The horse this is, is here. This is a good one. So, back when I was a ranger, we had a very interesting group. We had one guy who was one of the senior rangers, right? Good guy. Very, you know. Here's my horse. Very set in his ways turkey? with things. So, like, when he did stuff, hmm? it was like, my way or no so did way. Did you get another turkey? Right? This is a pretty horse. Yeah, of course kinda I got just another thought turkey. that way. This is my, I'm not, not like in like a mean horse. way. Just, huh. just got very focused. I need to buy a turkey. So, one day, you he decides. You really do. You know what would be great is if we did exercise with a town. And we could help them and they could help us with a hostage negotiation and a hostage situation, right? So everybody's like, you know, all the, the rangers involved were like, this is a great idea. We should definitely do this, you know? 
He goes, great. We'll do it on Tuesday. I'll set the whole thing up with the town so they know everything that's going on. Tuesday comes, and a bunch of the rangers all show up. They get into the uh, little, like, criminal-looking outfits, you know. Very, like, you could tell they were criminals. You know, dressed up, reds and black and, you know, like, masks up and everything. They ride into this town. And they, you know, playing criminal. Everybody hands up. We're going to take hostages, all this stuff, right? Huh? Oh, nothing. You don't. So, they're doing all this. And all the rangers, not the guy in charge, but all the rangers, are, they're looking at everybody. And everyone looks terrified and everything. So, all the rangers are like, man, they're really digging into it. But the head ranger came or the senior ranger came to a conclusion after like maybe 30 seconds or 40 seconds of being into the situation he didn't tell a single fucking person that they were going to do this other than the rangers so this town is now terrified the sheriff's department makes a whole blockade and they're ready to invade uh, the saloon I think it was might have been a bank but I think it was a saloon they're ready to go to war. They're calling every marshal, every other local lawman around. They're looking to really shore up and, like, you know, show why you don't fuck with their town. And these rangers are really into their, you know, they're really into it. They're barricading the windows, the walls, the doors, you know. They're yelling at the lawman. Fuck you, like all this shit. And then they're turning and laughing to each other. The town starts shooting through the windows. Like the lawman. Sheriff's like, fuck this, I've had enough. Start shooting at him. Now the rangers start freaking the fuck out. Like, what do we do? So they look at him, they're like, you know, senior ranger, what do we do? Like, these, these guys keep shooting at us. Like, these are real bullets, they're gonna hit us. And it comes to the realization that maybe he should tell Story everybody time is that great. he didn't tell a soul about this training exercise. Uh, I will see you all tomorrow. Thank and you so much for hanging out. Not only did he then get thrown out the door, he almost got Please shot the fuck be up safe. Take when care. they threw him out the and, door. Uh, yeah. And now, we can. everyone is yelling at everybody about who's who and what.